Welcome back to the 1010s Podcast with Michael and Adam and Robbie. We almost didn't have a Adam show this that week. I wasn't sure I was going to make. But you did. You were way early. Yeah, you weren't you even late. You acted like you were going to be late. I may have exceeded the speed limit to get here at the time that I arrived. Wow. Rebel. Maybe. Legend. I doubt it. Can't prove it. Not by much. differently. Nope. It's hard to get that big old. I was gonna say I don't think do that you did. More than the speed limit. <laughs> I don't think that you did. And it doesn't have cruise, which is super obnoxious. Oh, that's not fun. Why? Because I. So you might have been exceeding the speed limit by accident. That's what you're saying. Oh, hundred percent. I hate. I, I don't remember the last time I drove a vehicle without it a cruise. So aggravating. But it's so terrible. Aggra- it's the worst. Oh, that gives me an idea for an opener. <laughs> Great. Let's do Adam's <laughs> opener presented by Factor Fabrication. This is a wing it show because yeah, we thought. I didn't think I was going to be here. The only it, reason I'm here is because the tech I'm working with for the company I work side by side with was like, I got to be home by this time, so we're quitting today. I'm like, cool. Fuck yeah, because otherwise I'd probably just be leaving Omaha, which is two hours away from here, because I've been working 12 and 14 hour days for the last week and a half. Fun. And then driving home. And then driving yeah. home. Four hour From commute Omaha. every day. Yeah. So um anyway, uh so people everybody knows, everyone who listens to this show, a regular listen to the show knows that I have almost exclusively driven old piles of crap. <laughs> right? It's pretty well pretty well known. T T wasn't crap. Yeah, but it was old. Was it though? Not it was that 2001. Was, eight, what, what year was that? 2001. Was eight what year did you have it? We just talked about this the other day. Well, yeah, but I mean, right now. Okay, fair enough. So, I've never driven cars that have a bunch of these new things. Yeah, yeah. The buttons and stuff? Right. All the buttons? And uh, Mr. Beck has fancy cars. I do like buttons. <clears throat> that have all these they fancy don't even have features. Buttons. They got so, touch screens. There are a bunch of things, like especially driver aids. That I've never experienced, and I don't quite understand how they work. So my Genesis so doesn't I have, have a lot of that stuff, oh, son of a which bitch. I'm actually quite thankful yeah, like for. Like adaptive cruise control. Yeah. That's my, and, dude, uh, does that work? Yeah. We, I, all I've heard is, is yours, does your Flex have it or whatever it no, is? No, the Edge doesn't, um, but we test drove a Grand Cherokee that did. Yeah, you did. And uh, you basically get, you go on the interstate, you set your cruise, and it's got that adaptive cruise control yep, or whatever. Yep. So you just follow the car in front of you through your exit all the way to the stoplight. Don't touch so anything. Like, so like if I'm doing 70 miles an hour, uh-huh. which is kind of the average speed, uh, I suppose 75 around here. That's uh, not, not the speed limit. No, but 70, <laughs> 70 miles, 70 70 miles an hour. 70, 70 miles. is the speed Seven, limit. 70 is. So everyone goes is. five over. That's pretty safe, right? I won't so if see. I'm doing that and I'm coming up on someone who's doing 60 the car will slow itself down. Yeah, I get behind them at a certain distance. Does it like lock distance. them up? No, no. It, it, it sees it coming. Progressive, and you can change the is follow it, distance. Are they pretty like the newer systems? Obviously, are they pretty pretty yeah. good about that? I think they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, I mean, the Jeep wasn't new by any means, and it was. I was impressed. And it'll will it bring it all the way to a stop? Yeah, we took the exit by. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Up up in Urbandale, and we followed a car. They took the exit. We just followed them. We let their braking control our braking. Will it go? And we stopped. No, it won't. It won't pick up and go again. You gotta oh, go. Damn. That's that's that's. But on the interstate, if that person speeds up again, right? Or if you and they're below lanes. your cruise, it'll. Or if you change lanes. Yeah. I yeah. assume that it picks up on its own again. Yep. So. So, like, as long as the person in front of you changes speeds for speed zones, you don't have to either, do you? Nope. Son of. Mm-hmm. Now I've not heard very good things about reliability. See, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, that's I why I'm glad know. I don't have it. Yeah, doesn't. I mean, like if I had a Model S and I had, I almost call it Super Cruise. If I had autopilot, <laughs> I would. Uh, I really want. To. I would use it for sure, but not having it and not having the sensors because apparently the sensors can become uncalibrated sometimes. All I see is people bitching about it on the Genesis forum that like something happened to their sensors or they, you know, bumped into their car or something and something changed or whatever and you have to go back and have them recalibrated and reset and all this Whoa. shit. And so jeez, Ravi. Yeah, you know, violence, so violence needs to stop. Um what this table do to you, Ravi? Lots of shit. This table probably did do a lot of yeah. stuff to him. It's a lot of memories. Got what tied, it deserved. Tied into it. Um <laughs> So, yeah, I'm thankful I don't have it. I really, really, really want to ride in uh, 
or drive maybe a Tesla. I want to try it. Yeah, for sure. I want to experience it. I think it's fantastic. I would, I mean. Dude, I have an hour I'm, and a I'm half on board. commute. I'm on board Round to get, trip. A, get a three after that's done. I'm down. So like next week? Yeah. Was, yeah no. Was, are, you, no are, I, you, are you sick of we'll it yet? <laughs> I'm sick of the dealership, but right. That's but not, that's when I'm getting it. Yeah. No. I understand we don't. You want to talk about it too much, and that's fine. I just yeah. It's back and it's yeah, everything's cool again. But can now. you get a three? Yeah, three's not a big deal. Did that? I could have it in a couple of weeks. I think. Well, because like <clears throat> I remember, you know, it's been a I while. I try to order ago. one right now. It's been a while ago, but like. They couldn't keep up with demand, oh, and they nice. were never they weren't delivering all these people that had pre-orders. Or is that kind of over? Or did we just sweep that on the rug and I pretend it's, it's not a problem rug, anymore? I don't, I don't, no, I don't think it's a problem. I don't think they're making deliveries. Yeah, absolutely. I see like fucking thirty of them a day. Yeah, I was gonna say, I see them on trucks everywhere. I see them driving. It doesn't, all the doesn't time, mean they're dude. caught up. I'm gonna price one. I want a performante, so I'll have that one. <laughs> you want the performance? Yeah. Why not? He's gonna spend the money. They're like super frustratingly fast. Top speed's 162 miles an hour. That's pretty damn fast. That's not what it, like they're super super fast around it. Like for a track day or like an autocross car, they're flat out annoying. I'm not getting this white interior because I like they are. no can't blue have white jeans. Interior. That so seems like a that. terrible idea. Why would you? They offer a white. It's interior? straight up white white. You can get it on the S too. Straight up white. Full self driving capability. That's the worst idea I've heard in a while. Fuck it. Six grand. Let's do it. Ooh, that's a lot of money. All right, let's see. Self driving. Yeah, it's you don't (laughs) get all that. There's a little asterisk. You don't get all that. You don't get self driving. You get no. I know updates as they come out. Yeah, I know. So. On the Genesis thing, while you're filling that out, because I have other questions that I know I'm on, for things that the Genesis. Does I'm at sixty have. grand. That's not so bad. It's not so bad. That's crazy. I thought they what were, were thirty. About? I thought they were thirty. Yeah, but you can't get one for 30. not for the preference. Everybody, everybody, everybody knows that. <laughs> God, see, How fast is the? Is there even? Such, no, there's no such thing as a thirty thousand dollar Tesla. You can't buy one. Is that like selling base model? No, nah, dude, Jeeps, you can, you can get one that? for thirty five grand. But yeah, but no one buys yeah, it. Yeah, they don't yeah, exist. Nobody buys that. Dude, come on. Zero to 16, 3.2 seconds. That's worth 60 it's, Gs. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. That's so fast. <laughs> it's your daily driver. It doesn't mean it's going to ride like a race car, though. <sighs> I could not pick the Preformante. I'll go back. <laughs> That's six grand for that self-driving stuff. It's kind of crazy. Too. I don't know. Do that we I'd know anybody that. who has a Tesla? Uh, Back in my hometown. Not anymore. The only, like... That well. The only... The only Long person, range, 41 grand. The only... There's only one person who I have heard talk about Tesla as an owner and not as a journalist, and he flat out fucking hated it. He said it was the worst quality build vehicle ever. The interior makes terrible noise. It's always squeaking. It's always making it like it's terrible build quality. And he got out of his as fast as he could and went back to a Mercedes. Doesn't Joe Rogan love his? Yeah, but Joe Rogan buys new stuff like every week. He loves yeah, how he, fast. Like he just buys it phones all the time. Yeah, he, he might be sick of it already. But he loves how fast it is. Yeah, I've he, never heard him say anything good about it other than it being really, really fast. Yeah, I guess I haven't really listened enough to know. I just remember he said he had one. Yeah, he buys yeah. a new thing every week. Whatever. And that also, thing is. he like he has a GT3 RS, so like. A Sharkworks GT3 RS. I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure a it's a one. great car, but I'm sure anything rides great compared to a GT3 RS. You know what I mean? Like yeah. on, on California roads, that's got to be terrible. It's got to be spine crushing. It'd be so crushing. good everywhere else, It'd be so good. I would suffer <laughs> through every second of it. Don't get me wrong. But it's got to be terrible. Yeah. So the climate control. Yes. Are they better? Oh, so good. It is excellent. Do you ever change it? No. Or do you just set I it? I mean, like, if I... Do if, you set it at a temperature and just, like, never change it? I mainly set it and forget it. God, that would be so... Half lunch is the same. You just get in it, and it does good. its own thing, and you don't even think about it. Because, like... Unless I'm trolling him and t- p- turn it up to 90, I don't ever And then turn the it. fan speed down, yeah. Dude, it fl- my, it, yeah, it fluctuates between, like, two or three degrees. So, like, the Blazer I have, it's option loaded, right? Yeah. Air quotes. And so it has, like, temperature t- on the dial, and I hate it. It's the worst. Temperature on the dial. Like, oh. it has temperature numbers instead of just like the blue I transferring to, to red. No, it's just numbers on the normal dial. Yeah, I'm pretty That's sure. what I wondered. But like, dude, <laughs> for GM, I really got, didn't. It's still, well, also, it was built in like 98 or 99, or whatever. So this was, you know, this thing's over 20 years old. But, uh, 
like when you click it because it it still has detents in it. Yeah. And like when you change it from one to the next, it's a dramatic change. Yeah, they're not. It's not. And it's never what I want. <laughs> You're like, oh, this setting's too hot. too hot. Click it once. Now I'm freezing my ass off. That sounds about right. The nice thing I is... I hate it so much. I've never had a passenger that can figure it out, but you've got separate climate controls. Yep. Yes. So, like, you don't have to change the main one. You can so just change your So my girlfriend, who's always cold... Yeah. Hers can go but up to she 80 can also, while you're but, 72. But she can also turn on her heated seat. That's what Katie does in the or blazer. Or her cooled seat. I, she, yep. she doesn't do that in the blazer. No cool seat. I got but, so the so the climate control works better. Now. Excellent. They've it's got very that. Good. They finally got that. They got shit that figured, figured out. out yes. It took them a long. The long one time. in my Audi was not good either. No, it was terrible in my TT. It's not good. And it was not good in my van either. But like these are all early two thousands cars. So like I've never experienced anything newer than that. So that much is fine. It's good. It's good now. It's yeah. all good. I feel like there were one brought or it back around. Now. I can't remember what it is. So. I don't know. I just all these fancy things that my vehicles have never had. Yeah, are you ever annoyed by the push button and not having a key? Absolutely not. They gave me a car with a key <laughs> for a loaner. I was like, "What the hell is this shit?" I thought we were past this. But like, they gave me one that had a separate key fob. Hyundai sells a car you can buy that has a key and a fob that are separable. <laughs> and I was like, "What is this shit? What year is it?" This is two thousand two. <laughs> but can you hook them together? It comes with a little key ring thing that you hook yeah. them together with, like a mid nine or like a mid two thousand GM. Well, yours is probably yeah, that way. but it's it's like a, my dad's Denali would be the same as yours. Like you get a, it's a key and a fob, and you put it. Yeah, but it's fucking twenty nineteen. Like we can't. You you have the technology to make them one thing. I'll say the edge doesn't have. It just has the the button. Yeah, just the button. Just the fob and the button. So yep. the Porsche. Yes, because like one of the. Uh, maybe maybe Robbie doesn't know this, but like one of the things about Porsche nine, especially the nine eleven, is that the keys on the left, left side, yeah, right? I was there for that. So like, would you be, would you be less, or like like do you feel like that's adding something to the Porsche experience that you would lose if you just had a button? No, no, because then it's race car because it has a button. Yeah. Is there a so I assume the new ones are just buttons. Do you have any idea? Uh, I would assume, but it's on the it's left. Correct. Side. I was, yeah. was going to ask. <laughs> the yeah, button's probably, on the probably left. is the button, is the button the still on probably, the left? Probably. Yeah. But it was annoying. I kept getting in the Elantra or whatever it was with the key in my left hand. <laughs> <laughs> that took a long time to, to figure because I kept getting in the Porsche with God damn it, and then he switched. The key, and then he started, but then now These keys are in the some left serious hand. Serious first world problem. Keys in the right left here. hand. The ignition's not on that side. Damn it. And I went to the service counter and I asked them, can I have a left-hand ignition Hyundai so it matches my Porsche? And they asked me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Weird. You get what you get, sir. Get out. Actually, the Elantra, fantastic. Other than the ignition being on the wrong side, very good. <laughs> better than the Sonata? And the key thing, much better than the Sonata. <laughs> if you want a cheap Hyundai, get an Elantra. Um, it's not very fast. Doesn't but need to be. Steering feedback is excellent. Okay. Chassis felt really nice. Okay. Just felt like a happy, fun little car. Like a, like a comfortable place comfortable. to be. It's a comfortable little, little place daily to driver. be. Good Great daily driver. If you need a daily driver, that's what I'd recommend. Interesting. Excellent. Practical Interesting. Don't know why it was that good. Like I'd get, I was like, this is a great little car. Why would you not? It has no options at all. So it wasn't even that it was well equipped. I was right. just like, the options are overrated. If you wanted a car, like, this is a great car. I think that most cars, if all yeah, you're that after, it. that was it right there. If all you're after is some car, most cars are great. Yeah, you just need it. But it to drove get you from point A to point really B. Nice. That's why I was surprised. I was like, this like, drives great. My focus is surprisingly, like I, th I think it's because the Europeans made that. It's fo surprisingly that not dreary. Like it, it's got good steering feel and it feels kind of nimble and it's kind of fun and. Kind of sucks sometimes, but it's a little tail happy, which is fun in the right situation. But I don't like it when Katie's probably not fun for your girlfriend. Yeah, it's not fun in the rain. No, that, has, that I've had it lift off oversteer on me in the rain <laughs> with newer tires. Neato. with newer tires, like cheap tires, admittedly, but newer tires, which is terrifying. So look at it. Yeah. Great. That seems fine. And it was not very expensive. I don't remember how much it was, but like new twenties. No, less than that. No. Yes, I'm telling you, man. No, you're not getting I'm a car for you. less than twenty. Yeah, it was like eighteen. Dang. 
I'm just saying, if you want, if you want some car that's not terrible, that car's not terrible. It's good. It's a good car. It doesn't look the worst. It kind of looks like a little Genesis. It's like a. Small it does kind of look like a little Genesis. A little mini Genesis. With no options. With no options. Air comforts. Or well, I'm sure you luxuries. could spec it up. You could. You could put some stupid crap on it if you wanted to. So yeah, it's like yeah, just a little Genesis. That's nice. If you want to spend all that money on options. I don't know if you get any of that back on the back end ever. No. no Wouldn't absolutely so. not. I don't think that has anything but to do with it. If you put like anything. six grand in options on a eighteen thousand dollar car. It's worth the same amount as an eighteen thousand dollar car with not with no options five years from now. It's not a good business move. It might be easier to sell. It's but true. I don't think it's worth any remarkable amount more. No. So just know that if you tick a bunch of boxes, you're probably not gonna get it back. But as the fourth owner of almost everything I've ever owned, I appreciate it. <laughs> so yeah, whoever clicked the box on the DVD player for the Avalanche, I'm not mad about it. But you wouldn't pay <laughs> so, extra. I for wouldn't it. pay extra. It's for totally it, yeah. useless to Robbie, <laughs> but it's fine. We've used it a lot. That's true. That's <laughs> like surprisingly true. large amount. Robbie got some fancy wheels for his daily. I did. Do you have a picture of it? I do. I wasn't sure what we were doing, so I just saved everything. They're not fancy, but they're there. Wait, did you have any other things about options? I probably do, but I can't remember them off the top we'll of my head. We'll see what happens. So yeah. We don't have a plan. Is. No, it's fine. We're just going to chat a little bit. Going to look at Robbie's wheels. Does Here. your does a stereo in your Genesis, is that, it's, uh, is that passable? Yes. And you it's, um, it. I want to say it's Harman Kardon, but that's not right. It's something like that. Um, okay. Yeah, it's good. It's it's it's, it's, it's thing very good. It's terrible. It's, yeah, I know. Is it, it easy to use? Like your infotainment center? Or yes, is it, it actually frustratingly is. frustratingly terrible? No, that one actually is easy to use. Yeah. There was an option for like the iDrive thingy that mine doesn't have. Like, like it has like an like iDrive what BMW knob. has? Yeah, I don't know why. why the, and I like literally know. every journalist I've ever read complains about it. Complains about it. I don't but know. BMW won't let it go. Well, if, if you want one, but you want a Korean car, <laughs> it's an option. Just letting everybody know. Good to know. Um, but yeah, no, it works. It works great. I get in it. The only thing I really do is it pops up, and you've got navigation with your traffic, and then you've got the whatever radio you were using. And the only thing I really do with it is I can change all the radio stations on the steering wheel, so I don't really do anything with that. And if I'm listening to something that comes up on XM that I don't know what it is, and I'm curious who the artist is or what the title is, I can click the um, radio button and it brings up a full screen for the radio and it gives me all that information. That's basically all I do. That's it. All the climate controls on knobs. I mean, you can go in and change it with the touch screen, but it's, everything's on a knob, so you don't As need to. As it should be. As it should be. That's all you need to do. That's that's a knock against Tesla for sure. <laughs> well, you don't want your 30-inch screen? No! I just want a, just want a couple <laughs> knobs. I want a volume knob. And I yes. want a temperature control knob. Yes. Yes. And a fan speed knob. Well, I guess you don't need a fan speed knob if you, if the they fix the if that. the system actually works. I don't need a fan speed knob. Yep. That's all you need. Does it is it smart enough to like know that it needs to defrost your windshield and yes. shit like that? There's an auto defrost and a uh, CO2 sensor. Oh, I don't have that. CO2 sensor. Yeah. For so why? You're, so you're not asphyxiating yourself. Right. So if you're like on a road <laughs> trip and you're running in recirc. For too long, and it's, it thinks the CO2 is too high. I always thought that, too high. that that was total bullshit. They do it in buildings. I mean, the buildings. Re, no, the recirc thing. Like, they don't actually recirculate it, do they? The air? Yeah. Yeah. Not in my fucking 1999 Cavalier that had a recirc option on it. Really? It didn't do anything? There's no way. <laughs> what do you think? It leaked or what? The car? Yeah. Why do you think it didn't work? Yeah, you had to scream at the passenger. It was a 99 Cavalier. Of course it leaks. <laughs> <laughs> you also I've never, noise, I don't, I don't, I've never heard noise, this. It doesn't get any louder. I've never heard this the theory before that the Dude, research doesn't, it doesn't work. do anything. I don't. You don't think so? Really? Like maybe, on new cars? Maybe either? in your Genesis, sure, but not in my Cavalier. Do you think yours works? I think so. I've never used. There's it. There's no way it did something. There's no way it actually pulled air in and recirculated it. I don't believe that for a second. Really? No. I think so. Not a okay. 90s, like a fog not up a ninety shit right. box of Cavalier. You might be right, or it didn't like seal up, so it was doing well, yeah, both. Like, like, you could roll the windows down, and it would barely get louder. It was recirking. <laughs> it was recirking and pulling air in all the time, no matter yeah. what you did. Yeah, it might have been doing that. I don't. I don't. I'll, I'll believe that. that. I don't buy it. 
I don't buy it for a second. Never heard this theory before. That almost sounds like a conspiracy theory. There's, there's no way. <laughs> I, at least at least 33% of people believe that. There's no way it did anything. It may not have. I, I'll give you that. It maybe, may not have done damn Maybe thing. In like a luxury car, and I'm sure that your Genesis does it. But like, I never found a vent with a blower motor that was pulling air in, and I tore that car to pieces. Well, all it's, all it's doing is it's the source of the air it flips it from inside to outside that's all it's doing so it's just using the blower motor to pull air through the recirc vent it's not it doesn't have a separate motor on it at least like a like a you know like an Elantra or whatever it's just got a damper thing that's it moves from one position to the other one's at, one's well, outside one's inside that's all it's doing maybe <laughs> <laughs> i'm not buying it though i bet it didn't i think work. it does it i think the Porsche does it automatically. It does something. It opens I've never, up. I've never it had opens up a damper and starts yeah. like screaming. Yeah, screaming loud. My Cavalier, when you had the research thing on, it would blow faster. So that you might was have been all... hearing it pull air through that vent. Though. No, it, you could physically feel it blowing really? air at you faster. GM. Like there was more volume of air coming out of the vents. GM for was sure. lying to people in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't yours make a different noise when you hit research? I honestly don't think I've ever used it. You just leave it outside air all the uh-huh. time? Yeah, See, the, so the I, thing I, that I thought was a lie is that that did anything substantial. Like, that that really no, changed the air temperature significantly. Or, like, people do it like, oh, man, it smells. Hit the research button. Yeah, like, well, get the fuck out. No, the, re- the, the, re- the research keeps the fart in the car. You no, know, like, from the outside, Robbie. Outside smells. Like, you're driving past oh, no, a cattle no, no, farm. No, like, no, oh, no, man. No, no. Hit the research. It's too late. It's too late. No, the, yeah. yeah, the smell's already in. <laughs> you can keep a smell in, but... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, if I yeah, fart and hit research, research that's, then, it, then it stays. That's you can waft in your, yeah. in yeah. your smell Then it lasts longer. twice as long. Which, I mean, sometimes you want to do that, too, I guess. Whatever trips your triggers, man. I assume that's what you wanted when you wanted to fog up your windows or keep shit in your car. <laughs> Is it hit the reset? Yeah, I was like, I'd it's not to bring that. things from the outside. It's to keep all the bad shit on the inside. Exactly. I never purpose. hit it. It's always the. It's that's always so that the outside. You, you can, uh, you know, like when you in high school, you're you're cruising around with your buddies, and like you just rip one, right? Yeah. And research. you get you. Yeah, you hit the research. No, no, no. First thing you do is you hit that window lock button. Well, that yeah, too. Absolutely. That too. Because it's very sneakily too. Because. <laughs> Then you and, can do whatever you want. You and want the child locks. You yeah. want your friends to suffer longer, for right. sure. Yeah. Yep, I'm with you on that. So we have child locks on all of our vehicles engaged, right? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And child. there was one time back when the Focus still ran, and it was raining, and Katie was trying to get Logan out of his car seat. So um, she didn't want to get wet, so she was in the back seat, and the door swung shut. Oh, jeez. <laughs> And so, she, oh, and, she was stuck in there. So she and Logan were both stuck oh in the back seat because both, uh, both sides, both sides were activated. Because I wasn't sure which side we were going to put him on at that point, so I just did them both. Oh yeah, she was pissed. <laughs> How long was she in there for? <laughs> I don't know. She like crawled forward, and it's not. I mean, it's not yeah, like it's a yeah, limo. It was, yeah, it's just wait, fine. it was the van. No, she no. was in the Focus. Oh, the Focus. Back when the Focus yeah. ran, crawl across the seat. She's fine. Yeah, that's what she ended up doing. But she had to she had to crawl through between the front. So I think that was when Logan was still in the in the rear facing the rear facing seat, and we had it in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she had to work her way between the two front seats, and between <laughs> the back of those seats and the front of his car seat. Yeah. So it was it was not no it was not, not a, a, an easy task. Well, it'd be like if I ever locked the doors in the two forty, I have to crawl in through the trunk and then through the roll bar and <laughs> then pass the two fixed back seats. When, I've only done that once. When I worked at a dealership in high school, we had a C six Z O six on the show floor and the batteries died. And those have those little like pressure activated button mm-hmm. door uh, switches. Huh? And uh yeah. Dalton did that. Multiple Sucks. times this year, <laughs> did he? <laughs> he had the worst trouble. So I would Lost always key fob. I would always have to crawl. You know, you can open the hatch with the key. Yep. So you open the hatch and you crawl forward and you pop the hood to get to the battery. Hmm. Yep. I feel like that's a design flaw. It really is. But I think it might be a design flaw in the way the Italians make design flaws. But I think G- it's so stupid that it's kind of funny and you know, but, but comical. It's, but it's not funny on a Corvette. 
You don't think so? It's no, because it's, well, it's kind of funny that he has to crawl in just to open the well, hood. Well, it's funny for us. I, yeah, but yeah, like, I think it's kind of funny. But like, as a GM, or if I bought if I bought a Ferrari and it did that to me, I wouldn't be <laughs> as annoyed as if I bought a Corvette and it did that to me. I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> yeah. Something stupid was going to bite me in the ass. My own fault. But By I, a stupid car. I hold GM to a higher standard, which I shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> I just want the doors <laughs> to open with a key in the worst case scenario that things are dead. That's all I'm asking. Or put the battery underneath a door in the hatch. Yes. Wait, where's the battery? It's under the hood? It's under, under the, the hood. hood. That's really stupid. Yeah. Well, you can't put it um, in the back. It'll melt. He's like, uh, yeah, Dalton he's starting had, on fire. Yeah, Dalton had to pull that shit out of the back of his, uh, out of his Corvette because it kept lighting on fire. Jeremy Swenson had the you same problem. A, you sure it's not a Ferrari? No, it's a vet. <laughs> Jeremy Doors Swenson won't open the and the catches on fire? Yeah, if you, if you put it on track, you basically have to pull everything above the exhaust out. In the back? In the hatch area? Yep. Shit lights on fire. Yeah. Got to get one of those, I think. Yeah. That sounds good like good time. It's kind of like a Don't get a C6. It's, it's a cheap it's Ferrari. It's a cheap Ferrari. Yeah, it's really what it's got to be. At. It catches on fire, Yeah. and you can't open the doors. Yeah. I'm sure there's a bunch of other quirks. Yep. Although you should figure out how to open the doors manually from the inside in case it does catch catch on fire and the battery dies, just no, in case. You can't windows, down. windows down. Windows. No battery's dead. No, keep them down. Just oh, all the windows. windows. <laughs> There's got to be a way to get the doors open. Maybe from the inside. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, there like should... so you're not trapped in there. Yeah, you pull the them. door handle on the inside. Oh no, I thought those had the button release on the inside too. No, I think it's a handle on the inside. I think it's a handle. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. You know what? I don't think it is. I think it's a button. I think it's a button. Because I remember being on... in one and you like hit this button and it takes just a, a split second to open. Yeah, I think it's a button on the armrest. Yeah, it's like... Really? And then you know how it's like, you know, you've got your little like yep. open angle armrest thing with the handle. There's a button there for like where your thumb is maybe. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. I think you're right. But there's a handle... Like, like a C6 door panel. There's a handle in the kick panel somewhere. Oh, to, for sure. To open it. There's got to be. I'm just saying you better know where it is. Okay, There's got to be. No, I can't remember. Did you find it? Yeah, I got Did one. Did you find both. a door panel for a C6? Yeah. Just on. show a door Give panel. Give us some, some pictures here, Robbie. I'm trying. We can't see it. On fucking eBay. Let me break. <laughs> is it for, how much is it? It's 100 bucks. Yeah, it's on the, it's on the, yeah, right. it's up in that yeah, corner. Yeah, it's up there yep. at the top. top of the handle. Huh, I never doing? thought about that. That's a bad deal. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised there wasn't more issues with that, honestly. You know, now no, that you say that, I bet there are. I just didn't hear about it. I think what I ended up doing was I would crawl in, and then the mechan- one of the mechanics who was with me would put the jump box on it, and then I'd open the door yep, to get out. I'm sure. Siri gave us the weather for Port Louis Morte. Mor- <laughs> well, thank God. Thanks. Yeah, it's 69 degrees there. Oh, bunch of assholes. That's way better than it's what we cold got. Here. Dude, it's going to be like 70 degrees in Port Louis for the next forever. Fucking, you know, <laughs> screw you guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Siri, for ruining my afternoon. Low at 36 tonight, boys. Yep. So, anywho, yeah. there's a not good convenience automatic door locks. Yeah. Or door. Actuated door is that what, is that the way the Jenny is? No, because I bet I'll bet handles you that is handles. a I'll bet you that is a semi common issue today. The Cadillacs all have them, yeah, or used to anyway. You had to push a button to get out. Yeah, annoying. It's annoying because it takes like just a split second longer to open than it would be if you reached up and grabbed a handle and a pushed it out. Connection. Right, so it's it's you go to push and it's not released yet, and then then it goes. Hmm. It's annoying. It's very dumb. I'm sure you get used to it. <laughs> Fresh roll problems. Keys on the right side. Yeah. That's another problem. Where it belongs on the column. <laughs> column. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. No, those cars I drove had column keys. I haven't seen one in the dash on the right side. Did, did some um, of the Sobs have them down Sob in the on center the, console? Yes. I'm st- picturing derived right. from fighter jets though. or whatever yeah, they say. Yeah, totally derived from... Because fighter jets keys have keys. In center consoles. Oh. Leave it to sub. <laughs> That's why they're gone. That's why. They, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Anyway, I don't know. Was that it? That's yeah. really. Robbie, all let's I look got. at we're your just, wheels. Real we're quick. just meandering now. Yeah. So I had uh, some cash from my wedding. So last weekend was we're buying wheels weekend. So you needed tires. I, right? I needed tires. So, so then I was on Craigslist and this guy had 2018 Yukon wheels with basically brand new Michelins 
for the price of uh, half of the cost of the Michelins. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll buy those sight unseen. No argument with prices. And I get there and he's like, oh, you got a Chevy. How about I keep the GMC center uh, pieces and you have the these GM or the Chevy, the Chevy ones I have. Ones? He's like, I'll just give you those. And I got these lug nuts. I'm like, All whatever. Right. Yeah, great. This is perfect. It saves me money and time. So I just bought it all right there. They're perfect. Like I was telling you before the show, though, I got a small leak on the front one, but it seems to be such a pinhole leak that it gets to a certain point. And it's like not 20, enough to at, push 20, it at 27 PSI, it just kind of stays there. Just keep driving it. Nah, I'll, I'll it. fix it. I'll go to Randy's and fix it. It's got a, yeah, it's got a plug, and that's not where it's leaking. It's like right next to the plug. There's a really like tiny pinhole. Just put another plug in it, Robbie. No, oh, I want to get that plug out of there. I want to do a patch. Yeah, I want to patch it. Work. No, it's not. No, I'm gonna do it right. They should make entire wheels out of that plug material, or entire tires. I mean, yeah. you know what I saw the other day? It dries out so fast. Dicky. I saw a grasshopper or a John Deere or whatever, but one of those zero turns. Yeah, yeah. That had the that had the uh, open tires with the supports on Tweels? the inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen those. Uh, yeah. Skid, uh, skid loaders have those. Skid loader, well, yeah. The the big John Deere that we use to mow when it's not broken at work has tweels. Has those? That was the first one I'd seen like out and about yeah. on some guy's trailer. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yep. Yeah, and agriculture works really well because you don't have that. Are they stuff. actually supplying them to agriculture currently or no? Yeah, yeah. they yeah, are. You can oh, get okay. them on like basically any skid loader. That's what it came with when, when they bought really? it. Really? Yeah. Nope. And what, what model is it? It's just like a big ride-on zero-turn lawnmower, just like you're talking about. What's the brand? It's a John Deere. So it doesn't work? Is that what you're saying? Well, I mean, it works most of the time. That's why the tires all. are fine, because you just can't. It's broken all yeah, the time. Well, can't I mean, use it. Yeah, can't put any mileage there's on There's a lot of truth you to that. That's all I'm saying. That's yes. all, that's all that's I'm getting. That's like I said when I, when I, mean, I said. who cares about when the, it's not broken. put fancy tires on it, who cares? You never get to use them, because yeah. it doesn't well, work. That's, I all, mean, that's all I'm saying. It's like a show car. Yeah, except it's not the best looking either. Well, no, because it's green and yellow, which is very faux pas. See? <laughs> then literally the next day we went to um, and bought wheels for Jess's Edge so that she could have winter tires. Do so you guys spend all the money on the wheels? So then I bought, no, because those wheels off a of 2012 Focus were 100 bucks with sensors. 2012 Focus? Yep. They're 19s. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that and was then, donking, man. Jesus. So it was like $100, like I guess. So I bought those for $400, $450 with my tires. And then I went and bought her wheels with sensors for $100 and then spent $300 on Blizzax. Yeah. And she'll get around like it's nobody's business all winter. It'll be great. Because we had a nice little argument about like, no, she's, I need an all-wheel drive. Live no, and you like, don't. No, you don't. Here's a, here's a $400 experiment. Thank you, Robbie. I'm going to buy you wheels and tires, Blizzax, and you will be shocked at how much you can get through the snow. I'm telling you, my rear-wheel she- drive truck with Blizzax was miles better than my Audi ever was with summer all season. There was uh-huh. summer performance like 400 treadwares. Yep. After yeah. after getting stuck three times last year, I told her like we're not doing another winter either with this car or with these wheels. So then I came across stupid these, like, wheels. You didn't want to buy 21 size, inch Blizzax? 22s. 22 they inch Blizzax? No, they only make high performance summer tires for that car. Yeah, I know. two companies make them. Yeah, that's it, dude. It's gonna. She's. She won't even know she doesn't have all-wheel drive. I promise nope. you. I know. I'm aware. I'm it's so good. aware. I had them on my GTI. They were excellent. Yep. Oh, dude. No, I'm looking forward the to The best. It. Actually, I had DWSs, which I would recommend if anybody's looking for a tire and lives in this area where it snows and does other bullshit. Um, I had the Continental DWSs. Real nice. Had that on the Veloster. Had Blizzax on my uh, S10. They were great. Are you the know, DWSs? That's you run them a- all year. I, I ended up ex- like not <laughs> yeah of course yeah not every time <laughs> I didn't take them off till like June <laughs> they were good they, were they had like little uh, the DWSs have like little fingers down in the treads are those are those supposed to be a snow tire it's uh, dry wet snow DWS okay uh, but it is a it is all, a winter it's all tire. year tire oh it is an all yeah. year tire yep oh okay and uh, it's highly recommend very good not as good uh, as a snow tire yeah make no mistake there but right. if you don't want to change your Wheels or don't have an extra set of wheels or whatever, uh, I'd recommend the DWS. It's a nice, nice Count, package. Counting the wheels I currently have on vehicles, I have four sets of wheels for my S chassis. Nice. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All factory ones. No. Well, no. But Do we I, ever talk about the wheels that I bought? You bought wheels? Yeah. Oh. For the Porsche? I don't think oh, we I don't think yeah, we yeah, we kind of did. Did we? Okay. 
Yeah, we did. I think you mentioned it. That's they're right. the right wheels. They're the, yes, that's right. They're the correct wheels. Oh, I have all these pictures of your car, not one of them. <laughs> with that, with those wheels on it. <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah, correct wheels for that car, um, which is a lightweight performance BBS produced wheel, blah, 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 whatever. Um, it's like stupid cheap deal I got on those. Oh, Not stupid cheap, but a, a really good deal. Yeah, who's, who buys 996 wheels in Cedar Rapids? Nobody. I don't know. This is a market of one. I didn't know that you went to Cedar Rapids to get them. I figured you just bought them on eBay and had them delivered. Yeah, I bought them, <laughs> bought them in. Uh, so you just got lucky and found them on Cedar, in yes, Cedar Rapids. Yes, and I happened to be passing through Cedar Rapids on that weekend. Oh, perfect. And said, I'll stop by and grab Are they them. supposed to be black? No, he painted. He, they're, uh, I don't think they're powder coated, but they're somebody painted them using a gun and not a rattle can. Oh, that's good. So they took them to a shop and they're had them quality. Painted. Yeah. Well, he is a Porsche owner. So yeah, Porsche owners don't work on their own cars. So. No, he's yeah. not gonna spray paint. Pain, are you kidding me? It still no. smells bad. No, oh, it smells great. I kind of like the smell of paint. Paint's awesome. I don't. You know, know what I, I really know. like? I love painting. Bondo. Bondo yeah. has a really. You come hang out my smell. garage for a while if you want. I'm doing some Bondo work here real soon. What are you doing? Fixing the bumper. Fixing the bumper. Yeah, on the, I slid into the tire wall. His ass chassis. Yeah. Oh, are you using Bondo to fix it? Well, I'm gonna. F- when I break before fiberglass I paint it, it, yeah, I'm gonna do fiberglass and then fill in the little cracks, and then I'm gonna put Bondo on top, smooth it out. Fair enough. Then he's gonna wrap it again. Yep, because I did find a place that has the exact same color. You're not changing colors, Robbie. Not this year. I, I'm, I got, go this, I got, got stuff to wrap on the Z. I got. I just, I just want the 240 back where it was. It's all good. Let's get that Z running. That's the priority, dude. It's it, seriously like I just gotta put fluids in it. Right. That's it. I know. But <laughs> there'll be something. Oh yeah. It'll leak somewhere. That's where I got all winter. Yep. Not worried about it. Yep. I actually want to get the oil cooler and all that shit installed before I even bother. So yeah. Not Did you have an article thing that we were supposed to do? I sent Robbie. Yeah, it's rambled up, about it's stupid crap. Factfabrication.com. Fact fact this yeah, this Thank rambling you, was brought to you yeah. by Booney. <laughs> we got totally lost there. <laughs> and yeah. Max. Yeah. And if you, all if the boys. you need some railings, that's a, that's a nice railing. That's a nice fucking railing. That is a it nice. That is a it. nice railing. That railing was built with a nice fucking hammer. <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> Oh, so I sent him that picture of me working on the cruise with the hammer. Oh, oh no. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, "At least it wasn't a fucking planishing hammer." <laughs> Do you like the cruise? Um, I actually, I really don't mind the cruise actually. Yeah, and it's the one point four turbo. Yeah. So, you know, if the transmission goes out on it or something, I'll just steal the engine. Perfect. Put it, let's put it in the Fiat. Yeah. Why not? Sick. Um. Yeah. I don't know. It's it seems good. I mean, uh, it's it's a 2012 and it's got like a hundred thousand miles on it, but it's seems, good. Seems yeah. good. Seems solid. Bob's it's Bob's a car for Cruise it. RS with a six speed. It's actually a lot of fun to drive. Yeah, with that little turbo motor. I think those are good little cars. Um, I would rock the Thomas shit out of that. I don't like yeah. what techs do to things, but that's not you know that's part that's of my not rage the car's about that fault. car. I know, but sometimes you have non flashbacks and it pisses you off because you can't get the fucking <laughs> spark plugs out. Oh, and you think you're going to, you know, pull the threads out of the head or What's something. What's that like? Robbie's got a tool. I got a tool. Robbie's got that. a tool. Well, n- yeah, I wouldn't have thought of that at the time, though. I would have been rage throwing things through the garage wall. Oh, you can still do that. I promise. I'll- <laughs> That's fine. You'll probably have to do both. Yeah, you, not, get, you get to do both. It's when worse when it's your, it's it's not so bad you when it's your to. car and it's your race car and then reality it doesn't matter it's bad when it's your you're telling me when it's your girlfriend your fiance your wife's car and you broke something <laughs> or if you have all three then that's really just your own problem right <laughs> if a you're girlfriend, working on a wife and a fiance and you're working yeah. on all their cars <laughs> yeah yeah that sounds like the worst sort of russian roulette that <laughs> anybody's fucking ever utah bought. man <laughs> it's bad russian roulette <laughs> so, oh no robbie what? you're gonna bring the wrath of the mormons again it wasn't that bad of a wrath. It wasn't that bad of a wrath. They never came back, did they? That was no. like three years ago. It's fine. Oh, that was one of my favorite stories. That was so funny. We got Mormon fans. It's all good. Did he? Did they show up while we were recording one or right before we recorded like, one? We they were, recorded. They didn't. They show up multiple times. They showed up when I was working on the car, and then yes. they showed up they right before back. the show. Right before we the were show. there, though. Michael yes. and I were already there. We were. Doing our little jibber jab that we always do in the beginning. Yeah. Before we start the show. Yeah, you gotta get get it rolling. Yeah. And then bam, knock, knock, knock on the door. And they tried to tell you your, their car was broken. 
They did. But we heard them get in and drive away. <laughs> yep, they lied to me. Those Mormon girls lied to me. <laughs> They're going to hell. Sorry, I didn't find Damn it, Siri. Relax. Seriously. Can you please go away? <laughs> Can you please go away? Ah. ah. <laughs> Damn it, Siri. I we, shut that shit off. What are you doing? a little there. uppity. I was just sitting. I just got it wedged in my knee. Oh. I shut that shit off. I don't want her talking what to What the hell is Siri? It's like, hey, Google. I, I don't. I, I refuse to talk. I don't, I don't do any of that stuff. I refuse to talk to an inanimate object. I don't even like talking to people. I'm not talking to my cell phone. I, I, I feel that wholeheartedly. I'm sure. Man's got to have a line, Michael. Have you seen when you go to that enable dictation thing for Apple, you have to like sign this release that they can keep your audio and shit like that? Well, I don't do that, so no. I'm just saying, if anybody's listening and like you use they're dictation. they're not keeping my audio anyway. What the deuce is dictation? It's, it's, it's the speech text. text. To speech. Or oh, speech to text. I gotcha. Apple gets Technology it. I don't have. Keep that. I don't know what they do with it. It's comb through it and figure out what mine you're talking about. Yeah, mine data. To, yep. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying. Give just you a fire aware. extinguisher advertisements the next day after you record I a podcast. I almost bought a fucking fire extinguisher this weekend. <laughs> just there was a two pack. I should have bought them just to have them. Yep. Just to have some extra ones. Literally, just keep them everywhere. The next morning, I get in my truck. I fire up the iHeartRadio app because I listen to the morning show on there yep. now instead of listening to it on the radio. And bam, banner ad, kit of fire extinguishers. Ooh, smoke detectors. I need a smoke Say detector. Say smoke detectors a few times. Smoke yeah. detectors? Everyone smoke, should have a smoke, smoke detector. Smoke detectors. Smoke detectors. We were actually talking about Is it about Kitty this or Kidda? I think it's Kidda. Kidda. K-I-D-D-E. It looks like Kitty. It's K-I-D-D-E, right? K-I-D-D-I-E, I think. I-E, okay. So they're the, the biggest, but smoke detectors. I bet, yes. it's, I bet a bunch yes. of people get hit with that. <laughs> I'm not mad about that. No. I need one in my house. I need probably a couple. Wait a minute. You don't have one? No. <laughs> I assume you don't have a carbon monoxide detector either. I replaced all of mine. <laughs> See, mine are all good. Just replace them because I, I mean, they worked, but that's just, yeah. I might as well replace them. I need to get on. I that. should double. I'm a terrible So you need a bit. fire extinguisher. Dude, I'm a terrible a carbon parent. Carbon monoxide <laughs> and a smoke detector. I'm the worst parent ever. <laughs> Try to go. What else did he have? <laughs> I think that's all you need, right? Those, those, sure are, the, those are the critical, those are the critical ones. To, I just want that bitch to burn, baby. You can get those gas, burn, baby, burn. natural gas detectors. I have one of those. Just I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have that. I do have I should, natural I gas have in my house. I should probably I have should, one of those, I should too. do that. You can smell that. I don't need a detector. I th- it's combustible gas, too. It's other yeah. things. The one that I have. That was, remember, I can't smell the difference between decomposing rat and uh, or mouse and and oh, and natural right. gas. It smells the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. why I have that. Uh, Robbie probably should get his house tested for radon. Speaking of gases, I know exactly what my number is. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's part of the home inspection. Oh, look at you! Because yep. Robbie lives in the country, he's got a basement, so he's got to get tested for radon. It's a oh. thing in Iowa. That shit's stupid. I oh. it's it's I'm a not fucking, totally convinced it's really. A there's thing. no real statistics that show that it causes cancer. Yeah. Also, it's a scare tactic. Every single house in this entire state registers radon. If you have a basement, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Every single one of them. I'm on a slab. Give me, but a, I'm give me a fucking break. Yeah, I'm, I don't buy it. I'm not buying it. Because even the guy that does honest. the testing is like, yeah, you're at like a, I don't know, what's, I can't remember the off the top of my head. I was like, you're at like a 14, and then you need to be like a nine. I'm like, okay. You can install this like really expensive so, system. So get this radon mitigation system. Isn't it like 1200 bucks? F- yeah, it's like 1200 bucks. All it is is a fan. Yes. It's literally just an exhaust fan. Yeah. So he's like, you can install this. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, mine's at 21. <laughs> <laughs> so he wasn't even he's buying it. it. <laughs> nope. He's, he's just, he's just he's testing houses, it. and he doesn't give a shit about his own. And I, I'm convinced it's like a way to negotiate prices on a house. Because even like, Probably, the guy yeah. that I was buying the house from was like, so is this maybe we got like... You know, re- does this change things? Like, yeah, no, no, Robbie, you did no, that wrong. It, no, I, I, I got the house way less than it was valued at. I'm more than happy with the price I paid. I'm happy. Nah, I would have got. But stuck, like, he looked at me and I was like, so that guy, we're not. Re- no, I'm not. I'm not. Install- you actually I, met your previous homeowner? There was no realtor. All we did was go through lawyers. Oh, I never even met mine. She yeah, I still have his phone number. I could call him up I know, five she's questions. Dead. I don't know. I still get her mail. She was old, right? I don't know. She could be dead. I'm pretty sure she was old. I think that she got married and moved in with him, and he lives like many hours away, was the story I got. Mm. Mm. My neighbor died. That was a bummer. Oh, really? I don't mean to bring everybody down, but yeah. (laughs) I heard a rumor that the guy in the White House on the corner died, and I was like- Oh, really? 
I can't be Jim. Jim passed away. Very oh. unfortunate. I, yeah, I lost my yeah, neighbor. Nice, nice guy. I nice lost my neighbor gentleman. like two years ago, and I was really bummed about it, because he was cool to talk to. He's just, I don't know, he's a nice guy. He said, oh, he, come over, have a beer my, sometime. And My old neighbor had used to have an Omni, and so we bonded over yeah. oh, turbo, nice. turbo, turbo, not turbo dodges, and it was great. A lot of people keep moving out of my airport, and cool people keep moving in, so I can't complain. Oh, that's good. Like the people that moved in across the pond, um, they just <laughs> <stuff. laughs> What do you live in the UK? What the fuck is that? I can't call it a lake. I can't do it. He can't say that with a straight face either. (laughs) It's a pot. It's got a sweet lighthouse. Shut up. Though I went and looked at it. Shut up. Oh, I didn't make it that far. But Uh, yeah, we stayed for a while because I wanted my kid to play with some of the kids. Ah, Yeah, socialization. He he didn't do a very good job of it, but we tried. There was a lot of kids there. But yeah, so the people that moved in across the way added a pool and added and added a pool and a vineyard. Like. And they just had live music, just like, yeah, come on over, have live music Saturday night. Okay. Are you sure they're not setting up a wedding venue next to your house? I, I don't think so. Are they should got married there. Maybe. She got married over there. <laughs> yeah, at yeah. the vineyard. At the vineyard, yeah. That's something to think trendy, about. right? Yeah, so like I get home and I get out of the car, I'm like, the fuck is that music coming from? <laughs> that leaves something live on? music? Yeah, they were just like practicing their <laughs> like band. Like a band? Yeah, it was a band. So like I'm walking outside going... Like it's a, not from the shop. It's not from like the a house. Jimmy oh. Buffett cover band or it's what? Co- it's coming all the, all the way across the pond. Dave Matthews cover band. All they, sure. the way they, across they played, the uh, pond, ba- Michael. They played Crash? All the way. No, they played <laughs> They played some Blind Melon and some other like... Ugh. What? Blind Weezer Melon? or something? <laughs> yeah, probably. At the Vineyard. At yeah, the Vineyard. At the Vineyard. See, that's why I thought... No, he played like, Dave Matthews band exclusively That's why I thought, thought it would be like Jimmy Buffett. Nah, it'd be, it'd be Dave Matthews. Dave man. Matthews band. They, I, bet they were, I bet they would. I bet they would have played that if you would have asked. Jimmy Buffett would have been margaritas. If they had played Derek wine. Trucks, I would have been over there for sure. Yeah, I maybe I'll go, over, I'll go over next. I'll go over next. Derek Trucks band. Not a clue. Uh, he's played with uh, Government probably, Mule. I don't know who that is either. I'm not very cultured. What the fuck is going on? I'm not very cultured. That might be pretty deep into like guitar player music. If they don't play it on the radio, I've probably never heard it. No, I don't think so. So. Maybe on KGGO in the morning on Sunday. I don't get out much (laughs) for that kind of stuff. You know, I just realized I kind of have some really weird neighbors. So, like, they invite me over to go listen to live jazz music, and then the other people across the pond the other way are like, yeah, come on, we're having a 4th of July event. Just come on over. We're shooting guns. They literally shot guns the whole day. It's all right. My neighbor just got busted for dealing meth. (laughs) (laughs) I remember that. You win some, you lose some, Robbie. It's fine. Yeah. My neighborhood's, my neighborhood's pretty quiet. <laughs> this still, re- still bummed about the He's got a Subaru neighbor, though. So that's I re- do. He, uh, yeah. This yeah, tangent we, about neighbors we, brought to you by Factor Fabrication, there. who will build you a uh, a wonderful porch when you want to sit on it and talk to your neighbors. If you have nice neighbors, he could make you a nice railing for your porch. I so bet you if you have shitty neighbors, he'd build you a great a wrought fence. iron fence of some sort as well. Ooh. Has he made fences? Be an expensive fence, I would think. Well, I it? mean, he would. We he we just you talked would only last need week. One. We just talked last week about how Be the last fence you ever he bought. wanted to do something new. And we are getting to that age where you should really buy the last thing of all of the things. Like I bought the last wallet. I'm going to buy. I, that's how I, I live bought my the life last belt. I'm going to buy. Thirties the buy. new forty, Robbie. Thirties the, the new sixty. I don't care. Thirties the new forty. Fifty is also the new forty. It's very confusing. It's 2019. You can be whatever you want. <laughs> You can be whatever age you identify as, yep. Adam. I identify as 23. Well, my knees idea- identify as 67. Yeah, so. see? Yeah, see? Whatever you want. They're a bunch of assholes. But it's their you right did to that. be an it's asshole. Not, you did that to are. yourself. Speaking of that, we should go skating. I don't. I think that I am out of skating for the year thanks to my ankle. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's probably not a good idea. That. Yeah. It's, and it's kind of shitty out and cold. We don't like skating Instantaneously. below 60 degrees. I was bad. Remember, 50, 50 was my limit. It hurt. True story. Hurts more when you fall when it's colder. This is true. The concrete gets harder when it's colder. I don't care what anybody <laughs> There's says. Give. There's less give. I don't care what concrete. anybody says. When you fall and it's ninety, it's all it doesn't good. hurt. It's as not bad. so bad. It's not. When That's you fall hilarious. at fifty, it hurts. It hurts more. All right, we talked about nothing for an hour. <laughs> this is Booney's fault, man. <laughs> Booney loves talking about uh, nothing. Let's let's What's talk about lightning lap. Lightning lap at the topic. Sort of. I don't know. Whatever. Well, it's whatever like happens. literally none That's of us. That's a nice fucking Cam- Camry. Camry. Yeah. <laughs> none of us have gone through this list yet. There's 21 of them, so it's fine. They did a lap in a Camry. Is yeah. It the TRD. Well, it's, it's an XSE. XS. Ooh. That's not even the TRD. 
Ran a 325.3. Wow. Where is this? If anybody ever sees uh, one of these VIR. cameras, they should uh, rearrange the XSE for me. <laughs> Robbie. What? It'd be, funny. It'd be funny as hell. <laughs> this, no one's coming to this <laughs> podcast to grow up. No, you know what's shitty about that? They did it wrong because you'd have to move two letters. No, you just take the X to the end. Yeah, but there's going to be gap. There'll be, there'll be a gap. It'll be s- X. That's fine. Not as good. What? Yeah. S X E, right? X X S E. X S O. They yeah, did just do moved, it right. Just the oh, X. Ooh, Toyota. Mm. They were thinking about oh, that. Yeah, I know they, they were. Brown chicken, brown cow. I don't this know. This guy. Yeah. All right, so where is this? Uh, Virginia International Raceway. Nice. Which just last week uh, was where runoffs was. The SCCA runoffs. The SCCA National uh, Championship. So. I'm trying real quick here, see if I can find runoff times to figure out where these cars would qualify. Because I think, it'd oh be funny. yeah, yeah. But uh, let's let's talk yeah, about we these go things while we do this. All right, Camry here. number Just... twenty-one, the nineteen Camry SXEX. Nice. The, <laughs> the minute or three minutes twenty-five point three. That's a long lap. That's a big lap. I would be bored. How long is this track? Do we know how long is it? I should know. So what did that? What did he run? Three minutes twenty five seconds. Point three twenty five. Point three. It's three point three. Three point three miles. Three point two five. No way he ran three twenty five. Damn, he ran a three twenty five. That's slow AF. It is three point three miles. Uh, yeah, but the slow. So y- even I found, even NCM, it's three point what three point one three point two, and you're doing it. I found lap records previous to the event okay. for SCCA classing. So this is the fastest of the fast. Keep that in mind. Fair enough. Uh, but the slowest one I see on here, B spec, which is probably the slowest. Sounds like Miata. Uh, no, B spec would be like Fitz. Ah. Uh, non S model club or uh, Coopers. Okay. Mini focuses. Coopers. Maybe focuses. Focuses. <laughs> Folk yeah. I. Stuff like that. Fiestas, right? Camry. regular Fiestas, ones. regular Fiestas. Camrys, Camrys. Uh, 226, people. Oh, my God. 226. So you a whole could, minute you faster. You could run That's it. a whole minute fast. Who was hot lapping these? Pro drivers. Pro drivers, yeah. Allegedly. Mm, right, I don't think you could go that slow. That's what that I'm much saying. Slower. Okay, anyway, what's next? I'm trying to... Oh, Spec Miata lap record. Spec Miata. 120 horsepower Spec Miatas. 214. Yeah, who is yeah, who, does it say who did these laps? Did they let a journalist do these laps? Because no, that's they're meaningless. Car driver. Meaningless. It says they ran the four point one so mile grand course. Four point one. Oh, okay. It says. Oh. Welcome to Lightning Laps. Since 2006, CD editors have traveled to Virginia International Raceway to set lap times on the hottest cars of the years. Doing it ourselves is not only fun, but allows us to bring you an unfiltered first-hand experience. This is our 13th trip to the oh, la- no. to lap the 4.1-mile Grand Course. So I wonder if the Those SCCA are the times are not on the Grand Course. I think course. the full course is 3.2 or whatever. Or wait, Okay, so Grand Course... East is 4.2. Grand Course West is 4.1. North Course is 2.25. Then it goes down from there. But I think it you can do some other configurations. Robbie, anyway, can you can you Google a Grand Course map yeah. real quick? East or West? Grand Course is what it says. I was saying it's East both, and Grand isn't West. It? Oh Jesus Christ! It just says Grand. Here, hold on. I can Grand do East is the longer ones. This is on Wikipedia, so it could be. I'm on VIR's website. 4.1 miles for the long one. It says 4.1 miles. There's 4.1 and 4.2. So 4.1. Which one is that? West. 28 West. turns. Grand West. There's a corner called Bitch. <laughs> There's a lot of courses that have corners called Bitch. We get it. Been there. You see a map, Robbie? Can you pull it up so I can compare which one, it? Which one do you want? West. Grand oh, West. Let's try West. Full track map. How about that? Grand West. All right. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that at all, dude. Um, That's not going to do a ton of good. Here, Adam, look at this. You got North Course, you got Patriot Course, you got South Course, and you got Full Course. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not the course that the SCCA ran. Sweet. Uh, they ran straight through the back straight and didn't run any of that infield section. Does it look like that? No. 
There's a lot of configurations they could do. Okay, here. so anyway, these lap times, who 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 knows? So that doesn't matter. Anyway, Never mind. Okay, we can't so compare those. But the, four point one miles is a pretty long track. That's not a short track. So a three twenty five isn't that bad. No. What's next? So it says here they were not able to get their hands on the summer tired TRD version. Damn it! I'll be honest with you. Son of a bitch. Car and driver just went down. <laughs> the website what? crashed. The web, yeah, I can't get it to reload. Oh, Jesus Christ! I, I, I thought maybe it was the computer. No, it's 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 the that page. So uh, as tested, that's a forty thousand dollar Camry. Nice. That's a lot of money for a Camry. Makes three hundred horsepower. Ooh, twelve point one power to weight ratio. Perfect to GLTC car. You could drive there. You got to cage it. Damn it! But you could still drive there. You could drive Good. there. There is a guy who drives his car to those events. He has a Miata. Yep. He drives it. He races it. He drives it home. They have a tri- Okay, tire, I got it to work. Tire right. trailer and everything. You keep working on it. Yeah, I'll try. I'll so pull, number pull twenty, the next one. We might just skip around through a few of these because I don't really care that much about a lot of them. But uh, the MX-5, the Mazda. Yep. The RF, so the fixed roof one that's a little heavier. Or not fixed roof. I guess it's retractable. Uh, oh yeah. It's yeah. a hard top. It's a little heavier. Much better looking though. Three seventeen. You're moving up fast. So it's, uh, it's a pretty big jump. Yeah, I'll rather eight have a seconds. Camry. I don't know if I agree with that. What? He said he'd rather have the Camry. He's wrong. No, I way rather have the Camry. No, I think get I'd out. Rather, I think I'd rather. Times a billion. If it was the TRD no. version, I might be. You might be able to talk to me. No. The hard time. Why does yeah. it say that the Camry had 15 inch wheels? I don't buy that for a minute. Because that's what they have. No, they're on, not on a Camry. A fifteen? Not on a specked up forty thousand mile no, Camry like, or forty thousand dollar Camry. It says two twenty five forty R fifteen. It does. It does say fifteen. It wow. does. Classic car and driver. <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, classic car and driver. Remember that road and track. Remember when My they God. did? Remember when they did the. Uh, fastest sedans and they were wrong yeah. yeah they totally left off all the dodges and it was their article that they were talking about their event yeah yep. so welcome to car and driver uh 35th anniversary jetta 312 i'm kind of shocked that that's faster than the miata to be completely honest with you how much power that thing yeah 228 horsepower eh, it's not the worst comes with 13s no <laughs> 18s 18s so that's a. Uh, that's not slow. It's no, it's not slow at all. Veloster N. Yeah. Uh, I saw one of these in town. Woo. They sound fucking rad. Sure. Man, I wish I was uh, different so I could buy one of these. What do you mean different? <laughs> I, can't, I can't buy, I, I can't buy one. It's not the look he's going it's for. It's not the look I'm going for. That could be your daily. No. It could be my daily. I don't think Michael could pull it off anymore. Yeah, you've changed, man. You can't I park know. that next to a Porsche. I know. Yeah. It's cool, though. It's super it's cool. It's super cool. Great interior. They it's look so nice. good. I love that Very color. affordable. Meh. Uh, for, oh, shit. Those are only 30 grand. For 275 horsepower. Why would you buy As- a Camry? Oh, I wouldn't if that's my option. That or that. The same price, yeah. Oh, geez. No, it's $10,000 cheaper. 10 grand cheaper. Okay, then. Robbie just said he'd buy a Veloster. Did not say that at all. I think you said that. He loves the Veloster. You realize it's got funky doors, right? The, the doors are the so doors good. doors are all different. That all the doors sense. are different. So oh. stupid. So stupid. All the doors are different All from three the doors. doors are different sizes, right? And, and the hatch is technically different if you count that as a door. I don't count that as a door. It's all different. We live on the correct side of the pond where that's not a door. Yep. What's next? <clears throat> uh, ooh, look at this. The Genesis ooh. G70 with the turbo. Nice. 307. Uh, so the Veloster N ran a 307.7. Yep. The Genesis ran a 307.3. Take that, Hyundai. Wait. The Genesis on. cost fifty <laughs> fifty one thousand dollars $51,000. Oof. Duh. Why don't you have the turbo one? Yeah, what the heck, man? Come on, That just bro. came out. The turbo just came out last year. And? You could have traded yours in. I'm trying to be a reasonable, responsible adult and Ooh, like put money when? in my 401k and stuff. Dumb. That's future Michael's problem. What makes you think you're going to retire adult. anyway? Yeah, to live, it, live in the now. I'll try to retire. Yeah, live in the now. Well, if I'm not if I'm not going to retire and I get to 59 and a half or whatever it is when you can take it out, then I'll just go buy a Ferrari. Like 65. 
Uh, I think you can take it out with tax penalty at a certain point. None Maybe. of these are true. I used anytime. to do this for a living. Stuff like anytime. That. You can take it out whenever you want. Yeah, anytime. Just have to pay taxes. And a penalty. And a penalty. Yeah. It's not, don't do it. <laughs> people do it. It's, it's a lot of people do time. it. Don't do it. All the time. Yeah. Uh, what is this doing in here? Good. Yeah. 1999 Zanardi edition NSX. Oh, what the hell? Well, that's helpful information. Three Thanks. 3071. It's interesting, though. Like that's not that fast. No, but it isn't that. It's only a 300 horsepower car. I mean, they weren't that fast. They were I'd rather have a Genesis. By modern standards, it's not that fast of a car. And they're overpriced. They're way overpriced now. Uh, that's only a half a second faster than the Veloster. Rather have a Veloster for a hundred grand, which made less makes less horsepower. I don't know that I'd rather have the Veloster. No, you wouldn't. As tested, eighty seven thousand dollars. Where'd they pull that mo- that number out of their ass? I think it's just the sticker price for that one. I wonder if that's the sticker price adjusted for inflation. inflation. I don't know. They're what they pricey. bought it off uh, nineteen ninety nine Facebook Marketplace for BAT. <laughs> There you go. One, the Zanardi edition is one of 51. They didn't buy that on Marketplace. You don't know that. Pretty confident. Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio Foglio. I didn't know they made a Quadrifoglio Stelvio. It's kind of embarrassing that that's faster than NSX from 20 years ago, but, you know, whatever. It has carbon ceramic brakes, dude. What's more embarrassing is the next one. <laughs> It's not that much slower than a Lexus RCF track edition. What's up, Robbie? I like that car a lot. So much. I like it, too. The car's so good. It is really good. I do really, really like them. Goddamn pop-up. My computer hates running this website and OBS <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, I'm Mike, so sorry to no, anyone. This I don't know. Maybe the, let's, uh, let's stream through a few bad of these, because this really isn't as interesting as I had hoped it to be. I got uh, What is kind of interesting... Well. Skip through a couple of these cars and, and maybe hit the, the highlights. The Supra, which I think is interesting because everybody's talking about it. You're talking about the 2020? Yeah, I ran a 301. So it's not slow. It's not It's not fast. No. It's not slow. It's not bad. It is what it is. The M2. Is it? Uh, I've decided I like them. I'm still out. I don't mind them. I've decided. I'm, I'm good. I'm good with it. Not worth, it's not worth the money. Uh, it's 56 grand as tested. It's not cheap. I'll give you that, Robbie. But I I like them. I think they look good. Decided. No. If, it was 20, um, if it was 20 grand less, I would be more interested. I'm going to say something that I'm going to regret. I'm going to say it anyway. I would rather have the M2 competition pack than the Supra. I'm with Michael. Nah, bro. It's almost the same price, and um, it's not a Supra. Super with a BMW. Motor. I, I can't get my so, pictures to load. BMW. I can't. I can't tell you what it looks like, but I'm on. I'm on board let's with M2. Just, let's just stream through this since Robbie's website isn't working. Uh, but I have. You know what the biggest problem with the Supra will be? Is the same problem that the GTR suffers from? Hot boys. Everywhere you go, BMW. Everywhere you go, you're going to be swamped by dudes. Lots of dudes. Just swamped by dudes. You will not have that problem with the M2. No. No, because no one will see it. No one will anything know. Anything other Stealthy. than a, like a ba- regular two series. Stealthy, that's what that is. As compared to a Supra, yeah, it is. That's I guess. So what else? Skipping down, we got the yeah, BMW M5 Competition 254. Um, this car is way too fucking fast. So, so fast. I don't know why this car is so fast. Because <laughs> it's kind BMWs of BMWs are all freaking fast. It's yeah, ridiculous. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting. The Urus, the Urus. urinary tract infection? Yes, the Lamborghini. Yes, uh, 255. They say achieved 1.4 or 1.04 Gs in turn one. More grip than the BMW M5 competition. That's crazy. It's wild for an SUV. That's a lot of G, it's and that's a so, lot of weight. It's so wasted. Yeah, I won't disagree. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's very upsetting. Kind of coming up after that's a it's a nice fucking Porsche uh, oh, Carrera T. Christ. It's an alright Porsche. That is nice. Two fifty three. I know where there's one for sale. If anybody's interested. <laughs> I also Are know. Are you interested? Yes, he's very. Yes, interested. but not at at what a one year old Carrera T costs. 
Sell all the things. Which is not not to say I think it's priced well. I'm just saying that that's not. You're not at that point in your not life at yet. That point in my you're life. not ready to cash out your 401k. Ah, still got to put money in my retirement. You don't have to do anything. Damn it, you guys. That could be your retirement. You need a slush fund. Yeah, Robbie, could, you're wrong. That you could, need a damn emergency fund. That could be your your emergency fund. <laughs> like, yeah, that could You've be. You've been your... told now. Oh, yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> that could be your emergency fund. Just sell the Porsche? Yeah. How hard yeah, can if, it be? If, if things got that bad and you're in an emergency, you can get rid of the Porsche. Yeah, it's fine. No, I, not subscribing money, to cars, that. Cars, cars is a good place to put money. Always. For sure. <laughs> Okay, Jay Leno. <laughs> yeah, look at... It's look worked at, out for he's him. He's doing fine. It's yeah. worked out for him. He's doing great. Let's the Sultan skip. of Brunei, he's got lots of cars. He's doing fine. Let's let's uh, skip down here a little bit. Uh, <laughs> number four, Chevrolet Camaro ZL, ZL1 ZL 1LE 245. Yeah. Holy Jesus Christ, why is that car so fast? <laughs> it's so good. Because it makes 650 horsepower. It's faster than... Give me the price of that M5. car. M5, it's faster than... Oh, hold on. Everything just stopped 76380 <laughs> What's the deal with this website? There's three dude. people on this website. It can't <laughs> handle it. <laughs> it's, it keeps stopping. It just stops. $76,380 as tested. Huh. As a six pound per horsepower t- uh, ratio, which is pretty ridiculous. That's, that's it's crazy. faster than a um, $196,000... Mercedes AMG GT 63S Formatic. Which looks a lot like a Panamera. Not totally wrong. It's that coupe thing. Yeah, the back coupe of that's not a coupe the thing. The back of it looks like a Panamera. And, uh, and not in a good way. Uh, going from four, which is a Chevy, to three, which is a McLaren, long tail, 600 Spider, 242.6. That is a pretty big gap. I'll give you that. Two and a half seconds. Yeah. But three to four... It's a pretty big gap in price, also. Yeah, three three hundred grand, three hundred thirty-two thousand dollars. <laughs> Do you need crazy. to go that much faster? Yes. For another two hundred and twenty, no, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, two hundred sixty thousand dollars. Imagine, but look at it. Imagine what it, the amount of money it would cost to take that ZR1 and make it faster than the McLaren. Not that much money. Like twelve dollars. A good tune. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Annoyingly. Yeah. Um, to the annoyance of McLaren owners, the 911 GT3 RS, which makes like way less horsepower, was a 241.6. Yep. And then a, a McLaren Senna is the fastest. I'm sure you guys so are shocked and falling Senna, out of your chairs. The Senna set their, their record. That is the fastest car they've ever lapped around that course. We have 234.9, which is blazing mind fast. blowing it's also a million dollars nine hundred and eighty two thousand dollars for nine hundred and eighty two thousand dollars you can make a fucking fast camaro <laughs> i can make a lot of fast i can make a, can make a couple several fast, fast you, can make any, you can make a fast mclaren 600 long tail <laughs> you can make anything fast for nine hundred eighty two thousand dollars i think if you put six hundred thousand dollars of parts and development into a mclaren 600 lt yeah you'd have a mclaren uh, 600 LT GT3 car, their nice. race car, and it would be faster than their <laughs> Senna probably is. Shit, all you got to do on that McLaren is just turn the boost up, and then you blow an engine up, you got another $600,000 to replace your engine. Well, they're the same engine, because it's McLaren. Yeah, you just get a better one on the next go-round. Yeah. I'm sure it's got different pistons and I still think rods. McLaren is their own worst enemy. Because they only make one engine? Well, no, because they... They put out a car. They they put out a new car, right? And it's 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 ungodly fast. Like they put out the P one. It was a million dollars. Yes, crazy money. Oh look, the seven twenty is just as fast. But it's oh, way, look, way cheaper. Yeah, like, yeah but it's, it's like, like a, half as much a, money. Nice. Oh look, the like Senna. Fourth. The Senna is out. It's super 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 fucking fast. But like, it's twice as much as the seven twenty, and not that much faster. Yeah. It gets real exponential there at the end. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a steep it's curve. real hard. Well, plus I the, mean, the seven I, the I seven twenty is like way better looking than the Senna. Plus, people can't uh, see your knees. I don't know that I agree with that. People, two, two and three agree. People definitely I, can't see your knees though. Well, for sure. But that's a, that's an option. That's not a requirement. Oh, it's not. Damn it! <laughs> it's a heavier option, so obviously you wouldn't take it. I can see this guy's knees right now. <laughs> Just saying. 
I don't. I would say I I would be such a dick if somebody had a Senna like at a racetrack. I'd tell them that all the time. But you can see their knees. I can see your knees. <laughs> <laughs> this would be an asshole. My uh, my Senna uh, model that we have here has the the glass doors. Can you see his knees? I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? I think the 720 is better looking. Yeah. I, I've decided that I love the Senna and it's the greatest car ever made. It's wrong. I, I'm i not going to argue with you on that. It's not the greatest car ever made, but it's pretty high up there to me. I love it. God damn, it's, only, love- got a, it's only got a 245 on the front. You don't need a lot of tire if you don't have a lot of weight? Question mark? <laughs> um, well... I don't know. It seems to work. I don't know. My question is, why is everybody else listening to this podcast that races thinks they need to have like 305s, 305s on everything? So I got 335 square, bro. My GTR. Just saying, uh, do you know better than McLaren? <coughs> Probably not. <laughs> when I have the slicks on my Omni, those are 245s. Yeah. See, that's all you need. 245 is the max tire that you need. Yeah, I'm running 245s on, all year. On the front. I think I have a 205 on the front of the Porsche. <laughs> really? See? There's no weight up there. There's nothing up there. Fair. All the engines on the back. Fucking peasant over here. What do you got in the back? Fucking 245. Two, what a joke. 295 or something. <laughs> I was going to say. That's a huge really? difference. Really? Well, the 17s on it are a 205 and a 265. I think the 18s are a 285 or a 295 and a 225 on the front. Weird. You going to get a winter tire for that and drive it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is it ready to be stored? Is, are you done with are it? Are you storing it here? I don't think so. Okay. Are you asking if I'm storing it at JB's? Yes. No. Well, I don't. I guess I don't know for sure. Yet. Are you part of the club? I mean, we need to go over. Don't there. worry about it. We need to do Stop asking he, so many questions. He was there. We need to do I was show. gonna go, but I. We need to do a show with him there. Yeah, we should. Just because I want to walk around that place and oh. talk to JB. Yep. Place looks cool. Yeah, because it's like you're in a different dimension when you walk in there. It, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Gearhead Society. Look it up if you're in Des Moines. Yeah, absolutely. I love. Uh, he posted that somebody asked about car storage in Des Moines yep. and he posted a picture of, of that place like yeah I got room and it's like all his Porsches and BMWs and all these like perfect cars and then there's Dewey's Time Attack uh, <laughs> Subaru that's like six different colors and like it's a sick car don't get me wrong but like in it the picture looked, it didn't look right it looked like such a heap in that picture it doesn't it made me giggle yep. well, I remember he posted it and he posted it on Track Midwest he goes this thing better not leak on my floor <laughs> <laughs> oh it for sure did yeah, of course it it's did. a race car so, I don't know, man. Uh, their lightning lap thing is interesting to me. I kind of like that they do it, but um, I kind of wish that they would use the same driver. Because I don't think they, like, they just go out there with, yeah. like, a bunch of their editors, and whoever can manage to wrangle the fastest time out of that car gets, that's the number they run with. Oh, yeah, they should have, like, a professional driver on staff. Especially or if you got somebody a, they can a, bring. A damn Senna. Jesus. I assume that that's not a press car. No, I wouldn't imagine you know what not. I mean. Like they, they, McLaren supplies the driver for their million well, dollar like, car. Yeah, like or they, you know, somebody who works for car and driver knows a guy and he has a send on. They're like, hey, bring it to VIR and we'll let you do some laps in it if we can do some laps in it. Oh yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, we'll do that. That sounds great. Yeah, we'll put it in a magazine. It'll be the fastest thing in the world. Yeah, cool. I'll do that. Because now it's bragging rights, right? Like, right. The Senna is the fastest car to ever go on their lightning lap thing, and they've been running it for 13 years. And like any car that's been fast in the last 13 years has ran a lightning lap, and it's faster than the Ford GT. So what's up? You know? Yeah, what is up? It's because it's got two more cylinders, like it should. Right, Robbie? Yeah, exactly. It's got a V8 in it. doesn't have a microwave torus motor in it. It's probably why it's faster. (laughs) If it had four more, it'd be even faster. I'm... Mildly shocked. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, talk about it's it. It's coming up, isn't it? We'll talk about it in the, in the news. Fun stuff in the news presented Apex ApexTrackCoach.com. Get it. Yeah, you're really missing out if you haven't got it already. But if you get it now, you can learn it over the winter. Christmas. That's a perfect Christmas gift. Christmas is coming, people. If you give somebody a Apex Pro. And a 10 tens podcast shirt, you will be the best present giver. Stop dr- start dropping hints. Yeah, if you if you want that, you need to let them know. Make sure know about tell them about the discount code, yep. Robbie. Yeah. Ten tens ten ten will, will get you a free window mount. Use it for Apex. Use it for Petrolbox. Yep. It'll be great. 
Did we confirm that? It's yes. still active. No, no I know it it's active, but is that is that the right one? <laughs> is that the right code? Oh, I'm sticking with it. Okay. If, if I not, guess John you can go to, you can go to YouTube. You can go to it, YouTube and it look rolls it up. off the tongue, so it's probably right. I don't know what else we would have done. Uh, we had a yeah. I don't know. It was ten tenths or ten tenths podcast. No, no, that's too many words. Too many words. It's too many letters. It's for sure not that. Okay, ten tenths. If it doesn't work, try the other one. I guess. Yeah. How's that for a promo? Boom. If that code doesn't work, try this code. <laughs> Should be one of these two. Uh, we terrible. didn't know it was going to just stay open, so, you know, it's cool, though. Whatever. Thanks, John. Uh, Electric GT has created a, air quotes, V8 swap. I think it's great. Electric. So, basically, it's like a like an electric engine that's in the form factor of a modern it looks kind of kind of looks like a little yeah looks like a V8 little push rod V8 action V8. with some valve covers yep it's pretty and, neat and uh, like I think that they're actually going to try and make it so that it basically bolts into cars with those V8s in them they want it to be easier than a V8 swap which is a Pretty big thing to it's pretty do. Pretty big ask, isn't it, Robbie? The eights are fucking easy to swap. Well, yeah, Everybody but like, knows that. but like, you don't have to. So, is this is it the battery pack? Nope. Okay, then no, this no. definitely. I know, I know. I was reading that. I was like, man, this would be sweet. They give you some batteries. No, you just got to find a place to put them. Run the wire. Nope. No, it's not that easy. Not that easy. I was going to say, because like, I don't have to do all the plumbing and stuff like that, but no, I have to do all the yeah, wiring yeah, instead. Yeah, do all They're worried about it being so 10 inches longer or whatever it was. No, I don't no, think it's that not. that's... It's like, it's not. It's like four inches longer. I don't think that's a problem. No. Cause you don't have a radiator. You, you, you'll you need something, though, that, that'll that get hot, especially when you're charging and, and discharging. It doesn't... Just because it's electric doesn't mean it's not... I mean, you, you put, don't use you it, put you, coolant systems on computers. You're going to put fluid. a coolant system yeah, on that. I don't think it's fluid cooled, though. You will do something. I don't think it's fluid cooled. I though. think it is. Is it? I, I would think that they probably should be. All right, two out of three people think that. <laughs> <laughs> Must be true then. Sixty-six <laughs> percent. What's up? Yep, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be. I think if it's not, it should be. It, it will be. Mine will be. But yeah, they're saying that you could just uh, attach um, any like a regular transmission to it. Yeah, they can print whatever bolt pattern they need to. Because mm-hmm. let's be real, that's 3D printed. They said machine. They made the traditional. Oh really? Yeah, custom fab. It's rad though. It's a cool concept in a way. Yeah, I was like, it's a really cool concept. Like, I mean, it's not as rad as V8s, real no. V8s making real V8 noises. Like cause this is America. Yeah. But like you know, if you have to do something with your electric or with your V8 car to make it so you can drive it still, that's not the worst. No, I think if you want people to adopt it a little bit, this is the way to go. Make it as easy as you can. mm Hmm can choose your accessories if you need them yeah so then it would basically bolt everything right on yeah your alternator and all that mm-hmm. fun jazz your power steering pump rob those power steering pumps I fucking hate them it's overrated it's trash <laughs> shit never works anyways just don't, ruins, don't, don't just order it on my yours. steering field. don't order one on yours then that's fine just ruins my steering it does field. man it drives me nuts anyway I think that's it. It's not out yet, it's but no, uh, was there a price at all? Did they nope, even have a nope? It's, it's through the freaking roof. Oh, I'm sure it's crazy money. I remember that uh, that electric converted Corvette was like in the two hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yep, crazy money. Yeah, they're gonna say it's affordable is, at fifty grand. Yeah, which is still the biggest hurdle. Like I can build a hell of a motor for fifty gur. Mm-hmm. You could pay somebody else to build it and put it in, and do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you sit back on the couch with your feet up. Yep. We, we all know Robbie won't do that, though. No. Well, I'm just saying, you know, if you got 50 grand to kill. That'd be 50 grand in parts. 50 grand in parts? What kind of motor are you building? Oh, you mean a for the- A uh, one? Yeah, for me. It's for me to build. Man, that's a hell of a motor. Exactly. That's what we're after here. Yep. Longevity. I was, uh, I'm not getting a 25000 I don't want it's any of those things. I don't want a $25,000 motor with somebody else's work. For fifty grand, I want a fifty thousand dollar motor. You could buy a supercharged motor from Chevrolet for like twenty grand, and then throw thirty grand at it. It's fine. I'm gonna, Jesus, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. If I was building, I would rather spend twenty five thousand dollars, or I would rather get a twenty five thousand dollar motor that someone else built for fifty grand than me build one for fifty grand because it's for sure gonna break instantaneously. They all break it. anyways. It's fine. It'll just explode. I'll let somebody else who knows what the fuck they're doing. You can learn how to do it. It's not that hard. They're just I, engines. 
Yeah, but no. Right, engines are easy. There's not much to them. I don't. When you get into crazy power numbers, that's not that, well, true. I, that is true. No, when you're, when you're, you're talking you're, you're, when you're talking saying. like huge money and like crazy power, that's not like true. Itty bitty tolerance. Yeah, just the that, stupidest yep, little shit will yep, ruin your day. Absolutely. I'm with you on that. I'd rather pay but, somebody else to do it. But for fifty grand, you can get the right tools. You get a lot. Well, it depends on who you're buying it from. I was going to say, you get a lot of tools for 50 grand. You get a lot of motor for 50 grand, even if you pay somebody else to build it. Very true. I'm I'm, I'm in your camp on that one. Ah, two out of three people. I'd rather have somebody else do it and not worry about it. <laughs> Dude, I, like, even if you had a shop build it, what kind of crazy motor are you going to end up with if for you bought, like, grand? a $50,000 LS? Oh, it'd, be that still like, be like, it'd be insane. Is that fucker like gold horsepower plated or, or what? Yeah. yeah. Twin turbo, 1200 horsepower. Build everything. I mean, build everything. seriously. Yeah. I'm sure, would, you, I'm sure you can spend that, but like... It wouldn't be that hard to spend that. No, I'm sure not. But <laughs> it still. would decimate. Yeah, that's what's up. So. Anyway, next. Yep. Tesla's the most dreamed about car in America. What the hell is this website? This is this Tweak, Tweak Town? Tweak Town. What is this? <laughs> Well, it's actually, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I got Facebook targeted this article. <laughs> Technology auto, content trusted yeah. in North America and globally since 1999. Uh, They've been around since 1999. It's, it's from AutoWise is the website that did oh, the, stud, the, the tweak, air quote study. Tweak, tweak Town. Tweak Town. So yes. basically all they did was they they went on Twitter, data mined Twitter for people using keywords Hashtag. and then based it on, ge- on your geotag and figured out what car is most often hashtagged dream car dream car and then what or like in a post that has the word or the hashtag dream car and a brand what is that brand so they went through a hundred thousand which is not a really good example of the entire country uh how many people are using the hashtag dream car they would have I could tell you on instagram in two seconds <laughs> well that's just it if they wanted some sort of relevant thing they'd go to instagram I mean, who the hell is talking about their dream car on Twitter? Who uses Twitter? Ex- well, actually, a lot of people. But I, I mean, know, right? We're but if, a minority but if you, there, Robbie. But yeah, if you want to post pictures, though, you're going to have a picture of the said car. It's going to be on Instagram. Dream car has 2.8 million posts on Instagram. That's that's what they should be using, not the 100,000 they found on Twitter. I think it was easier well, with the geotag, though. So I think that uh, realistically, the... <laughs> the information you're getting on Twitter is probably more real, real world. Cause like there's a bunch of fucking clapped out 240 owners using the hashtag dream car right. in their posts. But at the same time, when the list of dream cars is Tesla model S yeah. Ford Mustang, yeah, it's a Range Rover, list. Jeep Wrangler, Chevy Corvette and Camaro. It's some serious. Um, you're not, you're right not there. dreaming awfully high. It's called a dream car. I don't think that, I'm not so sure that like the kids, the kids these days, are dreaming that high, Robbie. Uh yeah, yeah they are. You're not putting a Tesla Model S on your wall. It's still a Lamborghini. I don't think it's kids, still a Ferrari. I don't think kids put anything on their wall. What's your kid gonna put on the wall? My kid. What's he gonna do? My kid's not does not count as the average kid. Yeah, so I can interject with an anecdote. So I, a friend of mine has, he's about twelve or thirteen years old, and I asked him. I said, and he's really into cars, super into cars. Yep, so, yep. We, um. I asked him, I said, you know, do any of your friends, like he's talking about, oh, I was thinking about, you know, he does the thing that we did when we were kids. Like you look yeah, at yeah. what's available at like four grand or whatever, you right. know, and you try to work towards that. And I said, okay, what's everybody else in your class? What are they into? And he's like, oh, I'm the only person in like my entire grade that's into cars. They it's cha- it's you, completely they don't different, put, man. You don't, they don't put cars on their walls. They put Fortnite posters on their walls. So you don't, you don't have the folders with the cars on them anymore? No. You have the no, folders man, with different. the Fortnite on them. It's now. different, man. They don't so we care had, about we cars. Had, we had video games though, and they were cars. They were still cars. You had Forza. Yeah, and like Forza and and Gran Turismo are some of the worst selling games you can that are out there. Like if you look at the num- the number of copies of any Forza or Gran Turismo game sold versus the number of times Fortnite's been downloaded because it's fucking free or. Yeah, but it still costs you three hundred dollars. Yeah, or Call of Duty or anything like that. It's like three to one. And yeah, still if you look at the millions, if you look at the age brackets, it's I guarantee you that the average age of the person who purchases something like Gran Turismo or Forza is way higher. Oh yeah, I won't disagree with that. It's thirty. 
Yeah. And the average person playing Call of Duty is is much lower. Yeah, 14. Yeah, I mean, the kids that are 15 years younger than us, 16, 17 years younger than us, they just don't. Especially if they live in in a city that's even close to big enough to have public transportation. It's not cool, man. Cars aren't cool anymore. Because they're not. It's not cool to have a car. It's cool to be environmentally conscious and ride the bus or walk. (laughs) Well, even outside of that stuff, because I don't know that, that, I mean, maybe it is, but like, I don't think that that's something that a 13 year old kid's thinking that much about, but like go to a, go to any average car dealership. Most of their cars fucking suck. Like when I worked when I worked at the GM dealership in my hometown. Yeah. At any given point in time we had Corvettes, we had CTSVs, we had GTOs, we had those SS Silverados, we had all kinds of fun, cool, interesting cars. Go to a Kia dealership. There might be a stinger there. And not the one you want. Yeah, but still, I mean, I'm thinking. I think you're wrong, man. I, mean, I can't see the Kona Sega, you know. And he goes, what the fuck is that? Yeah, see, I don't know, man. A, a supercar is still a supercar. I just that, think... That's that's my problem with this is that, you know, they're not t- like there's not one supercar. Give me a fucking break. I think I think it's absolutely the. Basically, every car on that list except Tesla, I think, is wrong. But I have no problem believing that Tesla would end up on the top of that list. If you polled a bunch of kids, I have no problem believing that Tesla would end up on the top of that list. None. Because they're trendy and cool. I guess, man. They're trendy. I, I, I guess I have a hard time with it. I really so, do. A, another anecdote, our gym has like members of the month, month and one of the things is like your, your dream car. It's always something weird, man. It's like Jeep Wrangler or like... I think that's the other thing is like... <clears throat> You you have to look at the average American, not the average car person. Yeah, my kid's gonna want some crazy, weird, tracked out, well, yeah, race car. But like, you know, someone who who's watches football every day, every weekend, and and cars are literally just an appliance to get them from A to B. Their what they want is not the same. I guess it's I, I, again, I don't. I wish that I still, we had I a still way to, think the average kid is going to look at a fucking supercar. And, and if you say dream car, they're not going to think a four door Tesla. I think that that's where you're wrong. About I, and I might be. Tesla, I, I just can't believe the it. The Tesla is, in every sense of the word, I mean, because what defines a supercar is its performance statistics. And a Tesla is that and every bit more. Yeah, but not to the eye of a 12 year old kid. Yeah, but they're cool. I mean, I didn't they're, care. They're I, like, cool. I never cared about the performance statistics of a F- Ferrari F50. Right. I gave a shit about how it looked. I thought it was the best looking car. It's just really weird. I don't. Know. <laughs> but, but that's that's my point. <laughs> what do you do with that? That's my point. <laughs> but you look you look at it and you go, that car, that's the one, the Lamborghini Diablo. That's it. You don't look at the Tesla and go, yep, that's it. Statistics. No, it's it's. But I still think Based you're, on you're looking look, at it as a car guy. I, I would never have considered myself a car guy at that age. No fucking way. Yeah. I get. We didn't do any fun car things. I yeah. never went to a track until I was in my 20s. Yeah, I get that. I didn't autocross until I was in like 24. Right. I was not a car guy way beyond that. I was a motorcycle guy before that. Right. But there was still like that. And I think that the other thing is that like, the small town mentality is very different than the big city mentality. It might be. Cars are not a thing to a lot of people who live in the city. They're a nuisance. I have coworkers who don't even own cars. Or like they have a car for the family. Right. You know, like it's just the it's way it is. It's a lot it different is. than it was 15 years ago. I mean, it's crazy. You know? It's crazy different. Yeah. It's drastically different. Hmm. Yeah. Like, you know, in our hometowns, everybody has three or four cars. Because you have to. Oh, yeah. You don't have a choice. You got to have a car for him. You got to have a car for her. And chances are, if you have a kid who's old enough, he has to have a car too. Yes. But in the city, you don't. Right. Dude, even in Nevada, Nevada's not a big town. But no kid walks to school. 
the bus comes and picks him up. Yeah. And that's crazy to me because when I grew up, if you lived within like a four mile radius from the school, the bus wouldn't stop there for yeah, so you. Yes, if you lived in town, you walked. You have to. Yeah. Yeah. I I lived outside of town and I was like within tenths of a mile of being too close to school for the bus to even stop and pick me up. Yeah, so you were not close to school at all. <laughs> not really, no. But it was like a four it was like a four mile radius around the school and the bus would not stop for you. Yeah. I think And that's not how it's yeah. everyone in Nevada gets picked up. Weird. Unless you're within like two or three blocks. Right. And like here in Des Moines, none of these kids walk to school. Their parents take them there or they get picked up on a bus. Hmm. Even all the way through high school, you don't need a car to do anything. Cars are not aspirational not anymore. anymore. Nope. But I don't know what is then. What replaces that? Because it's not like you aspire to own a fancier gaming system. You already own it. There's only the one. You know, you own the Xbox or the PS4 or maybe both. But that's it. Like, so what are the, what are these kids aspiring to? It's a good question. I don't maybe know. that's I don't why have the answer to they're that. all fucking worthless kids. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to sound like the old uh, guy. It's because you're the next generation now, Adam. Uh, yeah, I know. Your fist. I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. I would. I would genuinely, if somebody has like a, a child, like a like a preteen or a teen, I'd be interested to know like yeah, what, the, what they aspire. to. The problem to. is that that I think anybody who listens to this show and has that kid, that kid's opinion is not the average kid his age's opinion. Like I know that like John with Petrol Box, he's got a kid who's. I, I, have, I have the answer. Finish your like ten or twelve years thought. old, but like came to me. John loves Toyo- old Toyotas, and yeah. he's got a whole bunch of them. And I'm sure his kid thinks those are cool. So his opinion is not the, the opinion of an average kid because he's been surrounded by cars that the average kid doesn't even know exists his entire life. He right. wouldn't know any different. Yep. And so I, you know, anybody who listens to this show, their kid's opinion probably doesn't work. Maybe if they have. Nieces and nephews. Yeah, ask a coworker's maybe kid. or a coworker's. Maybe that one would be valid. The other Pro- thing is professional that, athlete. Is that what they aspire to be? Yeah, professional athlete. Professional athlete. Whether that's but that's been not planted in their you, brain that's by not their something parents you or earn. that's not something you you know you go to work every day and earn the money to get. Yeah, but I think they put that effort in in a different way. You know, instead of going to work and putting in that effort in that way they do it through extra practices and paying for batting coaches and you know this and that and wanting to buy the next bat and and i mean i see it with my coworkers and their kids and and what they're into yeah it seems like any sport nowadays is a year-round sport yeah because you have i mean if you want to be competitive you you like need a separate you have to pay for your own coach and you have to go to the cages yeah my my boss is daughter he's in she's in softball and like that's what they do i don't remember that five, when we five were nights kids. a week and she this she i think she's a freshman this year and i've i've known i've worked side by side with my boss for six years now and since the day i met him it has been softball 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 and to me that's crazy no i'm right there with you i'd rather i did a little bit of everything but then it was i guess i, I once i got to a point it was skating 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 yeah yeah, but that was... I think it's... I don't remember that when we were kids. I don't remember all the extra shit and the expense in the off-season. You know, I didn't do it, but I don't remember other people. I also didn't have parents that were like... They thought I had to be the best at a certain right. sport. But you know why they do different. that? They wanted to be rich and famous, obviously, in the back of their mind at some level. Yeah. But it's to pay for fucking college. Because college, college is ridiculous. That's what Jess did. And if they go to if they go to is college, it wrong then if you get no, I mean, if you get, a, just, if you get just got for, college for it's free. eighty four thousand dollars a year to go to Iowa now or eighty four thousand for four years to go to Iowa now Iowa in state eighty four thousand realistically going to school as a student is doing yourself an injustice to your school because if you or not as a student sorry as a, as a as an athlete I talk, say that again it's going to going to school as an athlete yeah that's that's your first priority. Yeah, right. It's doing yourself. It's not education. It's doing yourself an injustice to your to your school. Your education. Yeah. To your yeah. education. Right. Which drives me nuts. That's where all the money was, goes I, to. I was shocked how many engineers that were on the football team, though. 
Yeah. I mean, like I'd, I'd sit in class next to him and go, like, wait a second, you're, I fucking know his name. And but were like, they, yeah. were yeah, they good students? I don't know their grades, but they were in the upper levels. I mean, they, they made it through the weed out classes. So, I mean, there are, there are a handful that take it very seriously. Yeah. How about we move on? <laughs> to something yes, else that'll probably make us mad also. <laughs> More car stuff. The average used car price is double what it was nine years ago. This is not going to make us any happier. Makes me fucking <laughs> irate, frankly. That's all the cars I'm, cost. Because I'm buying these cars. Yeah. And yeah. I, I mean, I, yeah, so I guess I bought the truck, but I think that was basically higher anyways. Cut to the chase. New cars. Skyrocketing. Right. Well, so what are your options? You buy a used car? Well, that drives up used car prices. Yeah. Well, and then the other thing is that uh, you know, our economy tanked in 08. And yes. Maybe this isn't the right what's the first, time frame. Yeah. What's the first thing to, to fall off when your economy dies? New car purchases, for sure. Yeah. So, like, those old cars are not going to be on the market right now. There's fewer 2009. Fewer uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah and the other thing is that you're looking at recession used car prices mm-hmm. and comparing them to this booming economy they say uh used car prices yep. so of course they're gonna be yeah, it's quite a bit different yeah you're not comparing apples to apples here no, no. still fucking pisses me off well yeah yeah i say and what was available in 2008 your pontiac grand ams uh, versus what versus like i don't what, even what, know if you could get those then i don't remember what year they killed pontiac it was 2008, right, 2008. I'm talking used. Right I'm talking used. Oh, yeah, so yeah. used in 08 yeah. would be like your Pontiac Grand Ams, your GT, you know, your right. Grand Prix, which were like five grand for a nice one. Right. And then now it's like five grand ain't going to buy you anything. You're telling me, Robbie. But at the same time, yeah, say with the, with the starting prices of them. I mean, those Pontiacs didn't start no. at a high price either. Uh, well, I mean, if, if you... If you price adjust them, because we did that before, it's been a million years ago. But you know, I I found the the uh, window stickers for my Blazer and my Omni and stuff like that. I still yep, had yep. them, and they pl- price adjusted. They weren't that far off of modern day car prices. Yeah, that was true. They weren't that far off. So, uh, they are. Cars do outpace inflation. Don't get me wrong. Yes. But I don't totally agree with the argument, but there is an argument to be made about you getting more things than you did 10 years ago. Yeah. So yeah, a 10 year old car now is a much nicer place to be than a 10 year old car was 10 years ago. Definitely. You know? Absolutely. And so, yeah, sure, fine, whatever. It still makes me mad. It's not the news you want to hear. No. It's not the news I want to hear. And it's not going to go anywhere. You got to wait to buy a car until we have a recession. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know if... Well, does anybody remember all the parameters you had to meet for cash for clunkers? No. I remember could look it up. a little bit about it, but... I don't know that 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 probably doesn't affect anything, because I think that killed older cars than that. Either. Well, that, and you're, you're talking... Let's just say it capped out at seven hundred thousand cars. At the same time, people bought way le- way less new cars. So I think that the number of le- new cars that weren't purchased greatly outweighs the number of cash for clunker cars. Well, I worked at I worked at a dealership and we did that. Or when that was going through, because that was like oh five. I can't remember. Oh six. I think. I want to say it was when I was working at the dealership. And that, that I thought, I thought it was more recent than that, but I can't Had to remember. be less than 25 years old, have an EPA-rated fuel efficiency of less than 18, be drivable, be... Oh, and then the dealership or whoever had to scrap it and have the engine... They had to pour something up. in it yeah. to blow it up. What yep. year was that? 2009. Oh, okay, so I wasn't working at the dealership then. Hell, I was out in the workforce at that point. Uh, there were some other stipulations but yeah, that so that important. Those cars were most of those cars were old enough that probably didn't affect much. No, I don't think so. Could it'd it'd be definitely elite, could. Couldn't it be more than twenty five years old? Correct. Okay. But didn't have a couldn't be less than stipulation? Mm, that you no, you there? just you just got like a flat amount, whatever it was, forty five hundred bucks or whatever. Yeah. 
So they're just trying to get rid of the worst, yeah, worst condition. I remember that now because I worked at the at the last place I was working at, and we had a whole bunch of vans that would qualify for that. And I said that we should go in and buy all new ones, and we would get one for free. <laughs> just trade them all in. Yeah, and get like, one new. Like one. if we have five vans and we bring them all in. Yep. You buy four vans, you get the fifth one free at that point because the Cash for Clunkers program would have paid, paid for, for the, the other last van. one. <laughs> and then we would have been in all new vans. And they weren't they weren't buying They weren't it. in on that? No, they weren't buying it. Shame. I remember that. Have they gone out of business since? No, I mean, that was the place they used to work at names. Oh, I thought it was the place before that. No, I don't even know where that place is a, is a thing anymore. Hmm. All so, right, shall we move on? Yeah. I think we have one more. Yes. The best one. The best one. Uh, the Corvette C8R has been released. Uh, Renderings. Yeah, that sounds Noises. Different. Like a Ferrari. Except not as good. No, not quite, but it's a flat plane crank. 5.5 liter, which is a little strange. Yep. V8. Uh, they had a strange displacement in the C7, though, too. Did they? Yeah, it was like 5.5. Do you think there's any chance in hell that we're going to see this motor on a streetcar? Yes. Yes. You think so? 100%. I think it's coming because, because the class that it's racing it has to have one. But the C7 motor was not a street motor. Well, this article was updated today. It said that it, they we are. Oh, really? No. Yep. You have to. It has to be some level of homologation. Yeah, I think that. Like, uh, gosh, I don't, I remember reading an article about the differences between the motor that was in the race car and the street cars, and I want to say like the block was. The same, yep. Everything else like different. heads and all that stuff were not the firing same. order doesn't have to be the same. Yeah, you know, crank doesn't have to be the same. the same. Yeah, so it's a very loose homologation yeah. model. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, looks fantastic as you can see. Oh, it looks YouTube so video. good, dude. Yeah, it looks so awesome as a race car. But so number one, I'm surprised it's a V8. I wouldn't have been that shocked if it would have been a twin turbo V6. I would be. If they would have gone the route of the Ford GT. There's a reason they didn't go the route of the Ford GT. Because they I don't think have they a Taurus motor to use. No, but they have a Cadillac motor to use. Shit. It's true. Yeah. They do. They do. It was talked about on the group just today. Did they? Yeah. Do you think they'll ever put that motor in there? No. I wouldn't be that surprised by it. I'm not saying I wouldn't be surprised. I just don't think they'll do it. No, I think GM... Uh, is smart enough to look at all the flack that Ford got. But then again, Ford had no problem selling those cars either. Yeah, but Chevy's not trying to sell 400 of them. They're trying to f sell like 40,000 of them. Right. Yeah. Fair. I bet next gen C9's got twin turbo V6. I uh, would all but guarantee that it's, if not fully electric, at least hybrid. This bitch is... It's the realistic world we live in. Buy your C8 now, then. Yeah, now's yeah. the time now's to buy the time to yeah. buy one. I guarantee or next year with the flat plane. I guarantee you that it's only going to get worse from here. If you are the type of person who's like, I got to have a V8 in my American car. My H-pattern gearbox. Then you better buy a car. Well, you can't even get an H-pattern. No, thing. not on these But ones. you better buy it now. Okay. Um. What's annoying to me about this about this as a race car is that, like, I'm sure that it's glorious and it's fast and it's great. And if it's even a tiny little bit faster than anybody else, they'll be forced to slow it down. Yeah, it'll be a balanced performance. There's Oops. really, like, like, there's no reason. There's no, like, no. performance gain to be had by moving from front engine to mid engine because whatever performance gain they get, they're just going to have to lose in weight or no. power or whatever, because the balance of performance is going to be like, Oh, you're too fast and no one else can keep up with you. Well, in theory, it'd be a more balanced car though. It should be a better, it should be, it should perform better. Yeah. Well, with the same with all this, if all things the same, it should be better. Right. But if it's too much better, they'll just make, they'll be forced to make it worse. True. Which is Sucks. really frustrating. They, they of, built a better mousetrap, and now they're instead of saying, "Well, Ford and Ferrari and Porsche, step up your game," because you know, I, and who knows? Maybe this thing's a fucking fall on its face. Who knows? You don't know. I wouldn't bet on that. But you know, 
instead of instead of saying, okay, well, Chevy built this car and turns out it's it's phenomenal. Everybody else better step up their game and be like, whoa, Chevy. You're awfully fast. You need to you need to bring it back a notch. You're at ten, we need you at nine. Sorry. Back with the rest of these people. Yeah. And that's really frustrating. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. So it would be great to see this car like uncorked and its full potential. Just like I would like to see that with any of those cars because I guarantee you that they're all way faster or capable of being way faster than they are. Yeah. With no, with just like no parts changes. No, just let it run as it freely wants to. Right. So. Did you see Matt Farah's one take of the Corvette? No. Nope. I haven't watched it. I, uh, because of all the driving i've been doing here lately i've been running out of things to listen to so mm. i listened to the first smoking tire i've listened to him probably nice <laughs> almost three years nice uh and he talked he was not allowed to give any driving impressions because it came out before 8 a.m this morning oh so it was still on the embargo but uh yeah he seemed to be not uh not impressed with it he was a giddy schoolgirl in the video during the video. He flat yes. out said that, and I don't know if he did it, but he said, I really need to record like a little piece in the beginning that says, uh, you need to listen or you need to watch this all the way through because, uh, I will admit that there was some level of me that was, uh, childishly excited about this car in the start and that my actual feelings about this car, uh, and how it really is, are at the end when I got over the excitement that this is the C eight and this is mid engine and Holy shit. And actually got down to like what this car is and whether it's good or bad or what it's good at and what it's bad at. That stuff's at the end. That was in the video. And Did you put that in the video. Yes, okay. His, his takeaways from the car after were mainly that he thought he was driving a pre-production model and it was an assembly line car. It had come off the assembly line. So he didn't review in the, original video like any of the interior he didn't talk about any of that because he said it's it's not done right but that wasn't true um and his takeaways at the end i didn't feel like detracted from his review it was just more a matter of yes it's still a sixty thousand dollar car not everything's wrapped in leather like the kick panels are plastic and you know it shouldn't be right it's a $60, and then he's like dollar car i don't know how i feel about the driving position which some other people have or not the driving position, but the position of the gauges and the um, center, console. center console. Yeah, mainly the center console. He's like, I don't know how I feel about that. He said I was a passenger in it, and it does create like a, a kind of a space Barrier. between the yeah. two of you. It's it's very it, not very. And similar, he's like, I don't know how I feel about the steering wheel and stuff like that. So it wasn't like the car was really any different than how he reviewed it. It was just more he went back and touched on a couple things that he thought he wasn't supposed to talk about because it wasn't a production car, but it was a production car. Okay. So yeah. no, that's the, yeah, the the cockpit setup is very, kind of similar to the Supra. Yeah, and the, and the passengers seems to be an afterthought. That's at least that's the intent. Fuck in, them. That's the impression I got when I looked in the window of the one that was at NCM, and which I'm, I'm serious. I don't, I don't really give a shit. No, I fuck no. Who cares care. about the passenger? Like, short of putting a wall between the two of us, does it really matter? No. Like, no. yeah, that's going a little far. Putting up a wall between the driver and passion. Yeah, okay. Maybe. It depends on who it is. Well, I don't think that I'm going to give a ride to anybody who I dislike enough that I would wish there was a wall between the two of us. Not in your C8. I mean... At least retractable glass, please. I mean, there have been... In a, case that person becomes unbearable. I was going to say, there have been a handful of road trips where I kind of wish I could segregate myself from my significant other, but that's different. Not all the time. Not, Not all, all the time. We've all been there. So, like that video I posted on the group. I, I watched it. Dude, I've watched it like 10 times. It's so funny. I watched it and laughed. Then I watched it with the audio on and realized he, was, he wasn't hitting bumps. He was giving it gas. Because yeah. in my mind, I thought every time I was hitting a bump, she was getting pissed. Because I've had that conversation. <laughs> Stop running over potholes. Hit, hit, hit a little bump and the seat would kind of bounce. And then she hit her head and she get fucking mad. No, dude. This dude's like third to fourth gear pulls in like some muscle car or some sort. If she, if she, she just get... like throws her hands up. She's so annoyed. Oh, my God. God, it's hilarious. She's, oh, she's got to go. She's got to go. If, I if you can't do a third, his daughter. Oh yeah, that makes sense. She, 
I she guess looked, I, I, she, she looked, looked young. Really, she's supposed really to be annoyed. Young. Yeah, she's supposed to be annoyed. She looked really, daughter. really young. I'm nah, assuming that's his that's daughter. a good test of relationship, though. If you hop in your little sports car, or your track car, or whatever, and you do a third to fourth gear pull, and she's not excited about it, bitch, got to go. <laughs> like Katie doesn't love the Omni, but she rode in it all the way to Sioux Falls with me. And was she bitching the whole time? I mean, I was cold too, so I was <laughs> no. The, the, yeah, the, the temperature doesn't. That's that's one thing. No, she didn't complain about the ride. She complained about the chill. No, I get and that. And that was when I, it I had that really that. shitty seat in it. I, and I wouldn't wish that you. on my worst enemy, nope. let alone my significant <laughs> other, which I did anyway. Yeah, she she hung on through all that. I won't. <laughs> yeah, so, there's no trash talk on that one. No, no. But, uh, yeah, I don't think that I care about that. No, I, not even a little bit. I think that it's not that bad. How bad can it possibly be? The things that he were like, well, it's not that great. It seemed like, but at the end of the I day, I think he thought that's maybe, his job. Yeah, yeah, he has to. Yeah, he I think has he's supposed to, to nitpick that. it. Yeah, but Karn or uh, they said it was good, but not great. Yeah, they didn't. It, to me, it was like, well, yeah, we don't like it. It's like compared to what? Though? But it's like you, there's nothing to compare it to. At the end of the day, you got to remember this is the base model. Well, they all keep going. Well, it's not as as good as a Ferrari. I'm like, yeah, it's also two hundred thousand dollars cheaper than a Ferrari. <laughs> the cheapest mid engine Ferrari. They literally that's the only comparison faster. besides maybe the Evora, which I can't even believe they're still making the Evora. That's not oh, a comparison. Cars, no, it's ancient, not. and the four C is not the same thing. So yeah, you're going to a Ferrari. So if you're comparing a Corvette to a Ferrari, we're not talking about the same thing. No, not even a little bit. One thing that was interesting, Matt. Farah said on the podcast, I don't know if he said it in his in his one take or not, uh, he's pretty confident that this is the lowest revving mid-engine sports car you can buy. I believe that. Which is interesting. Well, the, it's yeah, a the, completely that, like unimportant stat, but it is kind of interesting. That, well, that's not the flat plane. No. No, this no is that's just, just a, an LT2. Yeah, yeah, which, of just, course, which of course it is. Yeah, 6,800 <laughs> RPM or so. It's not, like yeah. it's, a, it's not like it's a low number. No, but still... Now you throw so, that flat plane in there and just bump those numbers up. Yeah, that'll, thing will, that'll red to eight, at least. It'll be great. It'll be excellent. Two grand for a pre-order if anybody's interested. That's it? I'm just telling you. Refundable is what I read. No. Go to your dealership if of you choice. Want, if you want to build slot, it's $2,000, and that money is refundable. If anybody's looking for a 240SX <laughs> or a 350Z. Preferably both. Or both. Uh, call me. Or a trailer. Probably won't need a trailer anymore. Yeah, this does definitely. not require you to make a vehicle purchase. If you change your mind, you can cancel by contacting your selected dealer. Unless otherwise stated, it is your responsibility to request a refund. Yeah, okay, whatever. That's fine. I don't think they're worried about selling them. No, they are not. So if they just somebody want a list, cancels their build slot, it's, they'll fill it's it tomorrow. There's, they'll have a list of people waiting to take that spot. The union strike has delayed the production of the car, but that's a different it's story. It's over now. It's fine. Is it? Yeah, they made a tentative deal today. Oh, okay. So we'll see how that goes by the time this releases. I could be way off, but yeah. this might be worth filling out, putting yeah. a two thousand dollar hold on my American Express. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Well, now that he's busy doing that, we can probably wrap up the show. Yep, let's wrap it up. Ten tenths. ApexTrackCoach.com. Dot com. Check that out. Catch you guys next week. Bye.